Feeder, come back around on XFM 104.9. You're listening to Ricky Gervais. Yeah, I'm with him as well, Steve Merchant. I was thinking of dropping that. What? I was thinking of dropping that, just going, because it's just too, that's all that. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Stephen Merchant and Carl Pilkington too. I mean, get to the music, so it's, hi, I'm Ricky Gervais, this is XFM. Sure. Here's Radiohead. Yeah. Some like, they'll come out, that was Radio and XFM, I'm Ricky Gervais. Tony Blair, what's he all about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That sort of, Snap, that, yeah. fast, because I quite, on a serious note, and you've always been saying it, um, I listened to an old show, because when Carl was compiling those things, I listened to an old show, and I listened to me, and I'm, I'm really concentrating now, because I sounded like the most inarticulate, brain-damaged old drunk <laughs> I have ever heard given a show. Yeah. I mean, I was shocked. Not finishing sentences, leaving out words, slurring, just doing noises yeah. that you understand because you know me. Yeah. So I'm really gonna make an effort for the listener. Yeah. It's not gonna happen, is it? You're gonna but, give up after about but three But I records. thought you were joking. And I thought it was like, mm -hmm. oh, he's t taking the- there? Did it yeah. then, you see? again, I don't quite know what that sentence meant. No, but- well, of course, I've got also your body language and your facial yeah. gestures, but obviously the listeners have got nothing they else. They've got just got the in. voice. They've yeah. just got the voice for it. That's all they've got. That's all they can rely on. Yeah. And, uh, and when Carl Pilkinson is the man holding the show together- When he's that's the most quite articulate. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. How, how did I come across? You came across as lovely. I mean, I, I did an interview yesterday, right, and I was trying to describe you to this journalist, and I was going, it's like a cat can talk. Because the things you say, I just want to know what your world is. You know when a cat comes in, you go, where have you been? And it looks as you're like, you know, you could, it can nearly understand you. And you're like, oh, I wonder, I'd love to know what that cat thinks. And with you, it's almost like we've got one. Yeah. Yeah. Did you like that? No, you can no. also lick your no. own testicles, I think, can you? <laughs> so, yeah. Do you play the doves? Doves, caught by the river on XFM 104.9, you're listening to Ricky Gervais. <laughs> Welcome, I hope you're having a lovely Saturday. <laughs> Were you asked to appear on Celebrity Fat Club? No, I, I uh, no Was there I any, was there, was there, seriously, did an invite come No, in? I, don't, I don't think they did, I, I, I knew about it and I was waiting for the call and I was yeah. gonna be insulted but it didn't come. Didn't come. It didn't How come. much are you looking forward to it? I'm quite <laughs> excited about it. I, I, I really am. excited to it, yeah, I don't yeah, know if people know, are you aware of this, Carl? This is this Celebrity Fat Club, it's a new, uh, one of those reality shows, it's ten celebrities, I think. They're all overweight, uh, and they've gotta lose weight over the course of the series. And they're, um, and they're celebrities. And they're celebrities. That's why I've called it that. Celebrity Fat Club. So yeah. have they got? Well, I'm very excited because one of them is, you know that guy who was in Pop Idol but didn't win in the end, that really big fat guy, Rick, Rick. Waller, Fats Waller as I call him, and uh, I was reading about him on the, in the, uh, on the web earlier, um, it says, uh, he's been told to lose 17 stone, because they reckon he might be dead by the age of 40 if he doesn't lose weight, seriously. How old is he now? I don't know how old he is, he's only in his 20s, isn't he? Well, that's still a good but 20 years it says, it says, he, it says uh, he was shocked to find he weighed 31 stone when he stepped on the scales at the start of the show. 31 stone? 31 stone. But I love that's the fact- That's really big. I like the fact it says he was shocked to find he weighed it. Yeah. I had no inclination. I'd got, I'd got, I'd got, I'd got I kept my eye off the ball <laughs> Exactly. That must be all those breakfasts. I haven't stood on the scales for years and I didn't know how much I weighed, Rick told the son. 31 stone, right. That is having that is a, that is having a man on your back and carrying a man in your arm. Just w yeah. basically two men are going everywhere. It is obscene because he looks. Have you seen him? He looks like one of those people who's wearing one of those inflatable sumo outfits. Yeah, he's just a little head and like a sort of. Oh, we're not. We're not having a go at um, fat people. I'm having a go at him, really. No, because it might be glandular. It's not. It's greed. <laughs> exactly. Do you know what? I, this is true. I, when I did, I did that room 101, and I did one. They cut out completely. I don't think I'd cut it out on taste. I think it was just too long. Um, and, I, and one of the ones I put in was fat people who say it's glandular, right? And they'd done the research, and two percent of obese people can claim it's glandular. The rest, they just eat too yeah. much. But right. the thing about Waller is he was going on there, gone on the telly, going, it's good, what a wonderful role model I am for people who don't conform to the usual pop star sort of stereotype. No, you're not a role model for anyone. You are a fat pig of a man. I'm sorry, right, but you are, no, right. Rick, but be honest with you, it is this. obscene. It's not his weight that d disturbs me more, it's his gums. Well. There are, oh, they've been through a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Haven't they? <laughs> they have been The weight does concern me slightly. Did you, do you remember when he did his version of I Will Always Love You? 
Yeah, but the, the I sun- thought he was just singing about like a buffet or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, outside the chip shop. <laughs> yeah, go away, Mister Waller. Yeah, do do, people- no, just just let me watch the uh, kebab rotate <laughs> once more. No, can I lick the fat off the floor? No, <laughs> you can't. I just imagine those people who run all you can eat buffets when they hear him coming, they shut yeah. the door. We it's close. like a, it's one of those nineteen twenties speakeasy. The front changes into like a laundrette. <laughs> Just move on, fats. It's not. <laughs> I can smell chip fat. No, 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 no. Move but, on. On you but, go. But um, I mean, we're not Olympic fat Brits. They are some fat. Like, Thirty-one stone is sort of you know quite big. But the American, that one. Did you see that one? Seriously, we talked about it before. That one on Jerry Springer, and he was seventy-five stone. Did you see seventy-five? It was in his bed. Honestly, it looked like a. It looked like a. Um, uh, I don't know, sort of molten lava in yeah. his bed, and it was re- it was actually sad, and I was really sad because he was, you know, he was in tears and he was going, "This is it, I'm going to do it." And Jerry Springer took the wall down and they got him that to get him in a special ambulance and everything. But my point is this, right? When he got to say fifty stones, didn't he go? That's a lot, isn't it? I gotta be careful for a human. Exactly. You know, for for <laughs> yeah. someone that lives on land. Yeah. That yeah, is. Exactly. That is. I tell you, what the? I mean. The fact is they have to have special weighing equipment, so wasn't that a clue? That must have been. The fact they had to get in someone from next door to lift up a bit to tell him yeah. how much he weighed. Yeah, the fact that he featured on the Ordnance Survey map <laughs> should have been a clue <laughs> that We've given it's you time. your own mess. Yeah, you are, yeah. Stop eating. eating. Oh, no. Oh, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Always amazing to hear that, isn't it? Rich? It's Sugar. fantastic. It's such I can't a great mind. tune. I was listening to Copper Blue, the album from which yeah. I was taken again. It's just fantastic. Old it really was. Old Mouldy. Mouldy old Doe, yeah. as I call oh, him. Exactly. Bob. You've got a real problem with Rick Waller, haven't you? I just. He's, I, he's he, he turns a, my stomach. I know, but don't. Because he's arrogant that. as well, exactly. though. Exactly. That's don't, the problem. Don't just explain to people that. No, he know, is a bit it's arrogant. His, it's his, it's his whole thing that you, it's the whole package, so to speak, that you don't Well, there's another thing in this quote because he's not just the fact that he eats too much. He he's He tried, apparently, to lose some weight. And, uh, it says, he said, the first month I lost 11 pounds, the next I lost a stone, but in the third my body did somersaults and I put on 9 pounds. I had a slip up. Yeah. I can't say when, why or how, but it just sneaked up on me. Yeah. I don't believe it. Yeah. Don't That's believe quite, it just sneaked that, up on that him. That body's never done a somersault no. in its life. No. It just uh, sneaked, sneaked up, up on him. Sneaked up on me, yeah. I know, I know, it that. was the cakes again. Yeah. <laughs> it was the same old cakes as before. It was exactly the same sleep, sleep eating. Yeah. It's called. It was the KFC bucket again. Oh, it was the oh family dear. sized KFC bucket oh, for breakfast. Dear. Poor man. The other thing is that the, I don't think that's a very good shock tactic for a doctor to tell a twenty-something. Well, to be honest, you've got twenty years to live. Yeah, that's not. You know, and when 20. I was twenty, the thought of dying at forty was fine. Yeah. I didn't want to live to forty. Yeah. I just thought, oh, what can you do when you're forty? Yeah. Just laying around <laughs> doing nothing, <laughs> eating, eating cheese. cheese. And then you got there, <laughs> and you discovered. No, but someone sent me dream came um, true. Sophie here sent me something, and she said, "I, I realise you're not Graham Norton, but I had to send you this." And she sent me the top of a little cream cheesy thing, and it's it's the brand name is Gervais. How oh, god that is! Have you been? They've named a cheese after I you. Think it, I think it's a big French company, and this is from the Czech Republic. It's all over Europe, and so it that would be a dream come true, it, wouldn't it? If they named a cheese after no, you. No, I think it's I think it's uh, probably you know ancestors, and so I've cheeses in my blood. Sure, quite it literally, literally is. Yeah, yeah. It, another it, heavy Friday it, night, was it? It, it, it? it comes out of pores like those play doh things. Yeah. I can squeeze out different shapes. Jane, bring t- the Stilton in. <laughs> it's Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this isn't nice. fried. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, so, um, we can't really have a go at Rick Waller. I, 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 I eat too much, but, but I, you, I, Yeah, I, but I you're not big. I mean, one of the other contestants on that, on the, uh, Fat Club, Celebrity oh, yeah, Fat Club, is, uh, another one is Jono. Jono Coleman. <laughs> oh, we love Jono. Now, Jono, he's, he, I don't know, you know Jono, he's oh. that guy that does, um, he used to be on TV and I think he does a breakfast show on a rival station, doesn't he? He's happy, isn't he? He's, he's so trivial. And he's a really nice bloke, Jono, it's but- It's funny, cos he does a breakfast show on Heart, which is, is wrecking his own. There's a bit of irony. Oh, <laughs> I love Carl. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Do you know I, what I mean? Yeah, I love no, you. I can see where you're coming from. Yeah, that's good. But we've met John yeah. a couple of times. We saw him at a couple of, not wishing to say not uh, to show off, but a couple of awards dues. Yeah. And like that's showing off. But like they, people would have seen dead there. Well, yeah, but yeah. we, <laughs> we went to one where everyone was in like tuxedos oh, or suits yeah. and ties. Not Jono. <laughs> Jono was wearing a pair of Bermuda shorts. Big Bermuda and a shorts. Hawaiian knee length Bermuda shirt. shorts with just these little. But I saw him again another time feet. and he had shorts on at yeah. a similar event. And I've seen him since in the street and he's all. I don't think. 
I'm wondering if he can wear trousers. I don't think he can actually wear trousers. I don't know if there's a medical reason for that, whether he's just, his no, legs th are too fat. I think the material is a waste of money. I think it's just yeah. that you can get shorts that big and they're comfortable and, uh, you know, why do you, I mean, to be quite honest, why, I don't want to squeeze into a tuxedo anyway. Mm. So, uh, if you can go, I'd love to turn up to those things in Bermuda shorts. Well, of course. Flip flops. You know, but do you think he started off by wearing, maybe he just had the upper half was a tuxedo with the tie and, and then the shorts for And comfort. the shorts underneath and he would just have to come in to kind of sneak behind, you know, a, a sideboard. Potted plant. Or a potted plant. Or his kids, bring his kids ahead of him. Yeah. You know, and you're wearing trousers, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. In yeah, you yeah. go, in you go. Kids move a bit. Well, no. <laughs> <just> <laughs> the, exactly. Of course I'm wearing trousers. Why <laughs> of course I'm wearing trousers. And then you just thought, though, this isn't fooling yeah. anyone. So uh, now uh, I'm going to make a wacky effort to sort of, you know, The next zone it. is, I've heard he's going in a grass skirt and a mm. garland around his, and he's yeah. going gonna to come in limboing. But you you did ask if you could go to the BAFTAs in a dressing game, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> just breeze. So, yeah. Yeah. But, come um, right, is this talking about diets and stuff, right? Go on. They've come up with a drug that, um, they, they tested it out on a mouse, right? <laughs> they, said, they said, you know, it's a problem that weight, weight is a big issue in the world and, you know, a lot of people are depressed and that, probably like Rick Waller. Well, right? I'm depressed looking at Rick Waller. Well, you know. Oh. I mean, you could, you could sort out Rick by, you know, Jono is an old man, he's got loads of money. He's not old. No, but he's getting on a bit, right? He's about No, but hang on a minute, what I mean is he does his own shopping, right? So, I bet it's Sorry? hard. Sorry? What do you mean? Because he's like, uh, how old is he? Thirty-five. Right? Oh, he's got right. loads of money, he does his own shopping, so when he yeah. goes to the supermarket and he passes, you know, the, the sponge cake section, it must be tough when you've got loads of money to burn that you go, oh, just one more. Yeah. One more. Look, right? I, I, just, uh, we are getting close to libel here, I think. No, 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 <laughs> but I'm saying how it is, because I've, right. I've tried, like, losing a little bit of weight. Have you? And it is difficult when you, you know, you're in Waitrose and you see a little chocolate muffin and think, well, <laughs> one more and I'll do without... Do you like a little chocolate muffin now and well, again? Yeah, right. Is that your favourite thing? So the a, thing a chocolate is, and muffin? let him finish his point. So the thing is, right, <laughs> now with Rick, he lives at home with his mum, so why doesn't his mum just say, I'm gonna buy less this week, and if you eat it all, you're not getting any more? Yeah. <laughs> That, that sort, that Does out. he live a with short, his mum? sharp shot. I, I bet he does. I bet he does. <laughs> so he you, you don't actually know if this is <laughs> true or not? No, but, but anyway, right, so this, this drug they've come up with... <laughs> they've tested uh, this on mice, haven't they? They've tested <laughs> it. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm worried if they haven't tested it on mice. Yeah, thank awesome. God for that. They're, it's definitely been tested on mice. Definitely. They, they fed a mouse a <laughs> load of cake. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and it went a little bit chubby and he said, right, stop a minute. And then they gave it this drug yeah. that makes you lose weight. Yeah. And it, its weight went down, but the only bad so side effect was its eyes were popping out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems, that seems to be fine then. <laughs> let's give it to Jono. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any problem. Oh, let's, let's, that, uh, yeah, Rick should get some I of that. Love Yes, truth, Doc, look at these. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, John, your eyes are popping out. That happened to the mice. <laughs> Sorry? That happened to the mice. Mm, but what, what you do you mean? That's the option. But, like what do you mean that's the option? So, so I love the fact that your choice is either being like a fat, happy man who has the odd sponge cake, or a stick man with eyes on stalks. I mean, Steve's <laughs> chosen that. All right, calm down. Oh, sorry, I thought mate. we were slagging off Rick Waller sorry, and fat mate. people. Sorry, let's mate. have a go I... at the fat people before yeah, we start on me, really. Yeah, no, I didn't. I forgot. Yeah, I mean, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I got some issues and body issues. You I know, know. But they, I mean, Rick Waller's grotesque, you know. Yeah, sorry about I'm that. I'm just a little bit weird. <laughs> I mean, do you know what I mean? Yeah, should we play a song and? Well, I'm just a little bit offended. That's upsetting. That's upsetting. Vines out of the way on XFM 104.9. You're listening to The Ricky Gervais Show. With Steve Merchant and we've got, we've got to try and get on though. Because there's not enough. That. No, not enough time. Let's, let's, let's bang on. Let's do some observations. Some, you know, maybe some <laughs> yeah. satirical. Take a sideways look at the week's news. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's the uh, fattest person you know, Carl? Is um, it an issue for you? Are you, are you concerned about fat people? Only if I'm travelling somewhere and there's one sat next to you. That'd yeah. be a bit annoying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think Ricky pointed out a few months ago, when I, when I went away, we were talking about plane journeys, and you were saying how it's a bit out of order, how when you go on holiday, right, you take your suitcase with you. Mm. Mm. I'm a r this is all Was right. Was I saying this on air, though, is this my question? Because there's, there's a reason I don't say things No, 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 sometimes. but I think you've got a good point. It made me think. <laughs> oh, no, it's w I know what it was, yeah. Yeah? It's sort of like, if, if you're not allowed to carry a handbag, John, because you're a few pounds overweight, but there's a bloke behind you who weighs ten stone more than you, yeah. surely the whole package should be weighed. Yeah. Like, you and your baggage Absolutely. can he be should have, He should have a carrier stone. bag. And so, I can, so I can take on uh, a Labrador and a wheelbarrow. <laughs> yeah. He can take on um, a towelette. Yeah. Yeah. To wipe Absolutely. his... Absolutely. 
brow yeah. is sweaty, okay. fatty brow. Yeah. yeah. No, I absolutely, <laughs> absolutely right. So, yeah. uh, and that does yeah. wind you up, does it? But I don't. That's the only time. I mean, people can't help it. We don't want to like come across as if we're just having a go at people who have got. But they can help it. This is what we're saying. No, but, no, that's, but that, that's a little bit. But I'm talking about obesity. I'm not talking about people who are overweight or have got a problem with with eating and so on. I, I'm talking about people who are obese because that seems to me to be an indulgence. I mean, no, I read no, no, some well, statistics. Well, 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 if we're getting serious, it, it is a problem, isn't it? Because it, it's an eating disorder. So what what what's what's terrible is is laziness and kidding yourself. But the people who have, have genuinely got a problem. But it's, it's a genuine a concern for apparently or... for the future of our children. Apparently, it genuinely is. Yeah. Apparently, it costs. I was reading some statistic that it costs something like. Uh, America, it costs them like 119 billion pound dollars a year or something. But that's in, not what people are obesity. starving because fat people are eating all the food. I'm not saying people are starving because of fat people. Oh, you mean? I'm you mean... saying that it's a, no. I'm saying it's a concern. Oh, I we mean, we soon have kids and they're hungry because next door they all the food. No, I just <laughs> mean that, it, that apparently because exercise now people aren't taking up exercise, kids right. aren't taking up exercise. That we will all be obese in years to come. Not all obese, but yeah. there'll be a, a big obesity. Well, I suppose the natural state for the mammals we crave fat. We literally fat, crave fat for for hard times. But now, but now. There are no well, you're all saying offices typing but away. But, but our body haven't evo hasn't evolved yeah. to, to take our social uh, input in. Yeah. So we still act like mammals, mm. and we we eat and we crave it, and we like to store fat. Yeah. That's why we have to go jogging because we don't we don't hunt, we don't do anything. So it, it it's not really their fault. You've, it's, it, it, I mean, it is about willpower and, and sort of like you know self. Hate but in years that, to come, we'll have just pictures, like, kids will just have pictures of, they won't have NSYNC on the wall, it'd be, uh, like, sumo wrestlers. Mm. Or, oh, God, um, oh, 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 you know sumo wrestlers? I saw this thing about sumo wrestlers, um, cos the, the, they, they're athletes, they go into the, this thing cos it's a big honour to be a, a sumo, it's actually really? true, right? Yeah, absolutely true. Yeah. So, you'd go along and you'd be nine stone, and you, they, they have doctors there, so you have to eat to get big. Right? right, and this doctor was interviewed. Jeremy's doctor, and he's going, you know, it, it is against. You'd think it's against the Hippocratic Oath, um, but um, whereas they do it anyway, I do it healthily. So he sells them. He gives them diets of like, uh, you know, ten pounds of rice, wow. nine pounds of fish, and things like that. And they get up, but now because it's such an honour, it's almost a spiritual thing to be a great sumo and that. Um, they have apprentices. Willing to now, you know, like when you're an apprentice, say, um, uh, runner or something, you have to make the coffee, and uh, when you're working an apprentice in the studio, you just have to clean the floor and stuff. Do you know what apprentice sumo's job is? An apprentice sumo. Go on. They wipe mm. the sumo wrestler's ass because they can't reach. They literally can't reach. Rubbish. Uh, right. Uh, can, what, we'll give Who's out the phone. Who's taking now. that up as a profession? I know. I imagine that. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd love to be a sumo wrestler. It's a great honour, and I'd love to work. Under you. Uh, sure. So, uh, sure. So, uh, what will I do? Start press ups first? There'll be uh, some press ups, yeah. Okay, there yeah. Will be well, some so I'll get into the gym now and, uh. No, uh, I, I don't before you rush go off. Go on, go on. You I'm will... starving. No, I can understand that. Go do on. You d would you mind wiping my arms? Right. Because I've just. You can't reach? No. Got, no, I can't get the arms back there. Can't okay. get them down there. So, uh, and I'll but, but I'll be honest with you, a lot of this oriental food, it doesn't sit well with me. So it goes straight through me, to be honest. So it's quite messy. It's quite messy down there. It's right. quite runny. Okay. So okay. be careful. Okay. Um, you no, wear some gloves. Honor. If you want to wear gloves, wear gloves. I don't want to wear gloves. I don't want to wear gloves. <laughs> well, it's, it's, a, it's an honor. This apprenticeship is two years, isn't it? You know, you're not going to take my feces and salad, are you, as souvenirs or something? No, no, it no. Is, I, I will I mean, be mainly getting fat myself. Sure. Wiping your ass. Yeah. Great honour. <laughs> yeah, no, good. Well, Great no. honour. If someone could call in and verify that. Look, Carl, look at Carl looking at us like we've just said the worst thing oh. ever. You this is true, like, apparently. Makes your eyes pop out and put in Forrest Gump in a wheelie bin. Don't look How at us like that. This is a. We're talking cultural science here yeah. And, yeah. and wiping asses. Yeah. So. Player record. <laughs> yeah, it's low brow <laughs> and it's high brow at the same time, Carl. Sure, That's an incredible way. picture. Oh, yeah, hey, this is for all you people who who uh, who like the odd cake. This is Bowie and Sweet Thing. Do you like that? Nice. Sweet Thing. David Bowie. Beautiful. Amazing, off Diamond Dogs. Absolutely. We went to see him in the week, didn't we? We did indeed, yeah. This little very exclusive gig that Jonathan gig. also there people. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, lovely to see him. Yeah, lovely to see him again. <laughs> lovely to see, uh, see Dave um, again. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he's looking good. He looks great, doesn't he? He was, yeah. Was he bisexual? <laughs> sorry, I don't what, know why I'm Sorry, at the, at the gig? No, 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 no. It's just the fact, because I know he's married now, isn't he, with the kid and stuff. Yeah. But there was some, there was some sort of... Oh, I, I think, um, possibly, I don't know, I wouldn't want to... These pop stars, they dabble with anything, don't they, I suppose? <laughs> <laughs> Try anything once, don't they? These rock and roll stars. <laughs> but um, yeah. So uh, if anyone knows the uh, 
the, the truth behind yeah, Sumo. Yeah, well, how does Sumo begin? Because that's what I can't- I've never understood how it began as a- as a- as a sport, because it's- do you know what I mean? Because you are- they are so huge. Well, so I reckon- it's not, I, I reckon it was a fat bloke who was picking on a little skinny bloke, and the skinny bloke <laughs> right. knew Kung Fu and so he goes, right, let's fight, and the fat bloke was no punching. Yeah, went, what yeah. do you mean? He went, it's just leaning against each other. Yeah, And they went, yeah. well, you're bound to win. <laughs> and they went, right, yeah. I've won. He went, yeah. bloke, okay. Yeah. And that's how it started, and the, yeah. the fat bloke- He grabbed went, him. Are you- are you wearing a nappy? Well, I'm pretty I'm, big, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm having why? problems now. I can't I, wipe my I eyes. can't wear a tuxedo. <laughs> yeah. I just can't. <laughs> exactly. I just, you know, that's the next yeah. step for... John has been banned wearing a thong in public, <laughs> so... But seriously, if anyone knows how Sumo began, I'm genuinely interested, email maybe, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Uh, just, because I, I, you know, Carl, what are your thoughts? Where do you think, uh, where do you think it began? Because it's an, don't you think it's an odd sport? I mean, it is a weird... They've always got nice hair. He seems to care about the hair a bit. Oh, sure. So he's sort of nicely pinned back. Yeah. Are you yeah. ever asked to, when, when people are doing like you know, uh, um, Sharma's Britain or you know people are doing like big <laughs> historical? <laughs> they, they, they say, well, "Well, we'll ask Carl about this. He might, yeah. he might have an opinion." <laughs> yeah, yeah. They've got. I'd nice like to hair. see you as a pundit, definitely uh, on those kind of on news night. It's yeah. just that he, I think it's a funny one because the whole idea of sport is to keep fit. Yeah. Mm. And that sort of. You know, it's a yeah. bit of an odd one, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Well, it's it's the same as sort of like weightlifting. You have to go through all that all year to see if you can push up, mm. you know, something heavier than someone else. But you have to walk round in a golf buggy to yeah. to you know to that one yeah yeah and take steroids and. Well, I mean, look. I mean, the other day, you know, I, I don't do much sport. I think living in London, there's not that many areas you can go and. Uh, Actually, I'm probably wrong there. Well, there's all the gyms and yeah, sports clubs I'm, and I'm stuff. Yeah, I'm probably wrong yeah, on the parks that bit. and the, the roads. But, but yeah. look how like, excited I was going round to your place, Ricky. And yeah. you had a, like a little garden. Yeah. I haven't got a garden. We played and football, was, didn't we? And we had a little. Well, I did. No, you were rubbish. I beat you in penalties, um, five two, and then I beat you on uh, uh, knockout. I think ten no, no, four. No. And he always makes an excuse. He goes, "No, start again. We didn't say that." He, or I'm cracking up. So, you, have you seen Ricky play football? No, I've not really seen either. Right, play football. it's not football. It, you sort of do it like um, it's like when you get a cat and you chuck it some wool. You sort of jump on it and lie on top of it so you can't get it, and then sort of kick it with his feet lying on the floor. <laughs> Really? No, what I mean is, he fouled me, and I still, I was on one Are you hand sure up. he didn't just collapse? Yeah, because all the stress <laughs> and the exercise. That's the other thing, that's he the other thing. He just tumbled off the floor and still and poured out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I was too strong for him. No, yeah. no. I was too strong for you. Yeah, but you didn't last long, did you? It was like, if, if football matches- I didn't matches, want to last if football long. Matches went they, just, they just bring me on for the first ten minutes. <laughs> Who suggested that you two play football? Did you suggest this, Rick? Yeah, we went around there, yeah. Well, yeah. We had to go and football in the garden, yeah. Yeah. What else do we do? Uh, I look. Just had a look at your salamander. <laughs> right? Is that you from Israel? Because <laughs> I know that when I first went to your house, I, you did. You used to show your genitals to people a lot more than you do now. Oh, you I definitely used to do that. You used to think that was hilarious. Yeah. I don't know what it is that you get to a certain age. Men of a certain ilk yeah, get well, to a certain Jonathan age and just start. Yeah, out, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. When Ross came in, he did the same. Yeah. It's that weird. Yeah, I suppose. I thought. Oh, you've seen it now. I thought you've yeah. seen it. You know, yeah. you weren't. You weren't impressed the first time <laughs> to be quite honest, Steve. Honest with you. So, uh, yeah. 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 Um, no, it's, you know, it's but, nice. you always know, nice. Always, it's a, always a treat to see. Yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you make of Ricky's place? What do you, what do you make of it? Again, that's not a euphemism. It yeah. <laughs> doesn't mean that I've got it's like a flat fish. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> do you want to see my place? <laughs> yeah. There it yeah. is. <laughs> it's, it's all right. I mean, I've, I've. You've seen better. I've, the pictures you've got on the wall of, of, uh, I'm not. Not keen on the same sort of art as you are. Right. What well, sort of art? Because um, yours is quite sort of modern art. Uh, He's got this big, like, bit of uh, abstract canvas with like just just loads of dark colours on it. Yeah. It looks really miserable. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. It, it sort of brings the place down. <laughs> If, if you're going to sell it, that woman on Channel Five, the house doctor, if she came round, she'd say, "Take that down. <coughs> and you'll get double for it." It's just. Oh. It's, it's, it, I oh. thought it was um, like a. A wall he was Take testing. that down, get that salamander out, and just pop those back in your trousers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like he didn't know what sort of colour to use on the wall, so he's he's like been putting a little bit on. No, that's not good. I'll use like a bit of a darker colour. Yeah, and it's just loads are of you, different. Are you Brian Sewell? Because you're just saying. <laughs> so, what kind of art do you like? I'm intrigued. Yeah, I, I like uh, Athena. I like Lowry. <laughs> <laughs> Lowry, the worst painter in the world. The most no, overrated. No, no, no. You see, it depends. You're you're getting excited rubbish. about your your stuff you've got on, 
Lowry, right? Yeah. You can look at He his... really is the Brian and Michael. No. Of the... Well, um... but it's real, isn't it? Right? What do you mean it's real? It's real. You look at his picture and you <gasps> see, like, little disabled people walking about. You see kids <laughs> That's playing, not real, then. playing with, like, footballs. You've got your, your, your dad coming home from work, working in the factory. Got yeah. a little dog barking. It's, it's life, right? <laughs> and you can look at it for, like, ten minutes, <laughs> go away, go and watch telly or something for a bit, yeah. go back to it, and you'll see different things in it. Really? That's really? Why. What is it like one of those magic sure, eyes? You sure that's not a telly? Yeah, you'd you be sure looking out the window, Carl. You sure you weren't watching When the Boat Comes In? People <laughs> will agree with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than your stuff that you buy. <laughs> this show started off slick. Yeah. We had something to say. No, I we, um, we, What are you we, talking we, about? We're now discussing we art. Were, we were taking the big out of, of, of fat people, and now mm. it's. And all now you've taken it all highbrow, Carl. Play a record, we come back to fatties. <laughs> Badly Drawn Boy, something to talk about on XFM 104.9. You're listening to Ricky Gervais. Well, then there's Steve Mitchell. Well, memory, it, let's oh. just get on with a... And we've already had a complaint. Yeah. Someone yeah. saying, your <laughs> TV show's so good, why is your radio show so hard work, you useless fat? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. You can't, you can't please everyone, Carl. It's like Lowry. Some people like Lowry. Some people like that fella who did the dark painting for me. Talking of uh, emails, there was a, some guy. I don't. He hasn't mentioned Larry's his name, rubbish. or maybe his name's Steve. But he said that he was checking out the uh, the Office DVDs. DVDs going on sale, isn't it? Soon, I think the video <laughs> and the DVD of the Office are going on sale soon. But he was checking it out on Amazon, and he said that uh, <laughs> it says on there, and I did check it, double check it, that uh, it includes uh, some special some special frottage. On the, or special frottage. Oh, is frottage. That how it's correctly the, pronounced. Is that mutual? Doing it to each I other. I think it's, or, it's is it the, or, or is it the rubbing up against each other? Yeah. It's one of those, it's, isn't it? Yeah, it's is that what it is? It's where you rub up against people? I don't know, it's something like that. Yeah. But, so there's some special frottage on there. Yeah. <laughs> <that forwards laughs> I, think they mean, I think they mean footage. I'm imagining, uh, so. If you're buying it for frottage, you are going <laughs> to yeah, be you're disappointed. Be disappointed. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, um, <laughs> the, 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 we're going to, that first hour then was about eating too much, wasn't it? I think we can. That's essentially what we talked about, yeah. That's probably Do you know, um, read something interesting. You know, they've banned, I used to get the Guinness Book of Records every year from about the age of ten onwards. And, uh, <laughs> it, I went straight, went to the section, like, you know, the biggest, fattest, all that, right? And there used to be gluttony records. And it was like these ridiculously looking Texans and how many hamburgers they can eat. And of course they were, it was just so dangerous. They've, they've put it down to how many hamburgers you can be eat in a minute now. Yeah. And so they've brought it down to things like 17. Yeah. You know, they still yeah. burst their stomach glass ball. But, um, uh, I, I remember I was, um, I was watching the Big Brother when they had to break that record, you know, like eating sweet corn and balancing. I was thinking, who wants to beat that record? Yeah. The rest of the records in the Guinness Book of Records exist because no one wants to contest them. There's one in there, um, a, a bloke there, that had his picture taken with a milk bottle on his head, and <laughs> it's the record for having a milk bottle on his head. Yeah. And it's like four days, I want to go, <laughs> no one wants to beat that record. Mm. And there was one in there, this is amazing, this is absolutely true, right? Like last year's Guinness Book of Records, it says, um, uh, in, in Thailand in 1980, a, uh, uh, some sort of, um, uh, temple or ceremony, these, uh, incense burners fell over and I think crushed people or burned people to death, seven people died, and it's under the heading, Worst Jostic Disaster Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon oh. they're gonna try and beat that one? Oh, God. There's a, there's a guy up north, right, who's, um, <laughs> he's in the Guinness Book of Records <laughs> for being able to put a, do you know, a car, a little mini. Up his no, arse? on his head, right, and you think, oh, that's good. But without the engine in. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that he puts this thing that still weigh, weighs like, you know, 50 stones on his head and you're going, boo! Yeah. What do you mean he puts the mini on his head? He, um, he wears a little cap with a little bit of sponge on. <laughs> <laughs> they all do up there. And they've, uh, and he picks up this mini. Cause, yeah, go on. And he takes like two blokes to put it on his head and then he walks around for about 10 seconds showing off. But he doesn't have the engine in it. So, I mean, if you're gonna do it, yeah. Go the whole hog is yeah. what I'm saying. See, what I think, the reason I think he didn't do it with the engine in is because he couldn't, Carl. Well, yeah. we'll pick, do a motorbike or something. My mate went to see that, what's that circus that came to London? 
and that was in, uh, the Camden, and it's sort of like really weird sort of gothic thing. Oh, right, yes, I remember. And, uh, there's a, uh, 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 he said at one point this nude woman got into a, a jar. He went, but it was a big jar. Yeah, he yeah. said it was a jar big enough for a woman. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. This big one to go, boo! <laughs> yeah. But, you know, get into a jam jar. <laughs> exactly. And, you know, I'll be applauded. But <laughs> yeah. that, well, it's yeah. a big jar. That's a jar shaped like I, you. I will get into a wardrobe. <laughs> well, a big ward. Yeah, well, I can get into that. No, you, I will get into the well, wardrobe. I remember I told you about this before, Rick. I was devastated a couple of years, I think it was a couple of years ago, when I read about that guy that won the world record for staying underground the longest. Right? Oh, what yeah. happened, right? He he got in this box and uh, he was buried like 10 feet underground. It was in a pub car park in Mansfield. Yeah, and the only way and he could Nottingham. communicate, the only way he could communicate was through this tube that they had that went up to the surface and he could talk to people and I assume that was how he got oxygen. And, um, and it said that while he was down there, right, he began and ended a relationship with yeah. a woman. She right? put a She note was a down. passerby, she chatted to him, da da da, they started this relationship and they ended it, right? Now, my point was, right, obviously, you know, my luck with the ladies is not, not triumphant, and, you know, I haven't got a girlfriend or whatever. You're and not when, Don Juan. Well, yeah, exactly right. And what I'm saying is, when you read that there's a man ten feet underground pulling women through a tube, yeah. you've got to sit yourself down and ask yourself some very serious questions. Yeah. I yeah. was a little bit, as you can imagine, a little bit upset From that. the Midlands? Exactly. Yeah. A little bit devastated. Oh, dear. Really upset me. Do, do you st what is your method now of chat? Do you still throw little rocks at them and go, over here? <laughs> yeah, I, um... There was a kid, I remember, at our school, Mark Johnson, when we were, like, ten or something, and we were talking about Guinness Book of Records, and Mark Johnson went... Yeah, I'm in the Guinness Book of Records. <laughs> I thought, I'm intrigued. You're a ten-year-old. <laughs> I said, go on. He went, now, I don't, does this qualify? Does this qualify? He claimed that he was in America once, and he went to see, um, a baseball game, and the, supposedly that game was the world record for the number of people in an audience for a baseball game. It was like some massive stadium, I, I, I and this was the I, most people ever. I tell you what, his account. I and he claims he was there. I don't reckon it was listed. Well, <laughs> I don't reckon Mark Johnson got his name <laughs> no, on that list. Exactly. Uh, and exactly. Ross McWhirt would be going, "Well, that's the whole book." But I think we I remember him looking it up and going, "There it is. I was there." Yeah. Yeah. Does no. that count? I mean, no, I don't. Well, I've done a similar thing. There was an ice hockey game in Manchester. Sure. And they filled it. It was the uh, the arena. Yeah. They had an ice hockey game, uh, and I was part of it, but I wouldn't go around bragging. No. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, now you've no. brought it up, I'm telling you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're not going to boast about it. Nah. We're not going to get a t-shirt made. What's the best thing you've ever done? I don't what? know. I just... Come on. What's the best thing you've ever done that we will go, did you really do that, Carl? You see, it's weird, because I've been thinking about this quite a bit. Cause, of course you have. Because, uh, I'm 30 on Monday. Are you? Are you really? Yeah. Oh, you're just going to try and get presents, aren't you, from the listener? No. Nah. But I but, say listener. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> but um I kinda was thinking have I had a good thirty years? What have do you I, think? I don't know. Carl, is this gonna get a bit melancholy now? Yeah. Because we've been having a few laughs at the expense of fat people. I'm not sure you wanna we want you to bring it down now. No. We we've, just, we've, like, we've been having a jolly laugh about people who are morbidly obese. It's yeah. always when my girlfriend's working away, I always think about odd things. Do you? Odd times. Doesn't she leave you shiny things or videos in so you don't get you don't get too depressed, you can... Well, what, la last night, when I sent you that text. That was... Right. I'm right, let's play a record. This sounds right. intriguing, because I'm right, worried it is intriguing. Really... It's incredible. Right, play a record. Right, w <laughs> wait for this text that Carl sent me. Uh, all Along the Watchtower there by Jimi Hendrix. Beautiful. Can right. I just say straight away, Rick, before you carry on, um, we've had some people emailing in, um, about the origins of sumo wrestling. Yeah. But they've sort of cut and pasted a huge ream of information from the web. Thanks very much, but we need bullet points, <laughs> or not, not, don't bother. You're wasting our time, frankly, with any kind, any, <laughs> too uh, many sentences, uh, proper grammar. We're talking about Ricky Gervais here. Yeah. So not just, that I'd read the bullet points either, you'd read them too. Exactly, me. but exactly, so but your, your concentration would lapse so quickly <laughs> that it just yeah. needs to be keywords, you know, arse, sumo, <laughs> yeah, yeah. things like that. Yes, arse wipe. <laughs> yes, arse need... wipe, sumo, correct. Yeah, or maybe even a picture of someone wiping an arse with a tick <laughs> next exactly. to it. If you could get yeah. words if you out. Could, if you could, maybe if you could send through the 
origins of sumo wrestling in sort of diagram or sketch form, <laughs> yeah, or in a kind of comic book, or one of those flick books. <laughs> that just, you just maybe draw a quick flick book, send that in. But thank you very much. But thanks for thinking of it. Um, I woke up this morning, yeah. Feeling fine. It's not a blues song. And, uh, I turned my phone on, and it, it was from Carl, and it went, forget it, I've made my mind up. And I thought, wow, what is that? And I forget it. it. I've made my. Yeah, mind. I went, Carl. What is it? He went. Oh no, it's about the text I sent you last night. I went. Well, what what was it? I just got this text. He went. Ah. Oh. oh, I was just wondering. I was, I was thinking last night. He said, "Supposing you had to have your hands removed." Sure. Right. <laughs> 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 and the doctor said, "Well, you can either have them stay like that with stumps, or I can sew feet there." <laughs> what would you have? <laughs> and I was bleary eyed and I went, the stumps? He went, yep. Yeah. I went, alright? He went, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then and what was his follow up text to that? And then I got the text that was obviously before it and it went, and it was like quite serious. What, what would you do if surgeon had your hands? Would you have stumps or the feet? Right? Now the way, uh, when I said he's made his mind up and I went, the stumps, he went, yep. Yeah. I think secretly he decided on the feet, <laughs> but was too embarrassed to tell me. <laughs> There's a little, little bit of what would you do? Because it's. It, but last why night, did you think of this? Why did you think of this? Girlfriend's away, right? Yeah, no, that's not why you start thinking bizarre I'll, surgery I'll tell you devices. Now, right? I'll let you into my little mind, right? Last night, I um, <laughs> I had some beans on toast, right? <laughs> Cause she was away. It's good already. Right? She was away. She had some beans on toast. Right? She went yeah. wild. Yeah. Right. Now I was stood up. I live on like a on a high street, right? So um, I'm washing up. I'm looking out the window. First thing that had me attention is I can I can look into other people's flats, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it was weird how all these different lives were going on. I was watching them, and everybody had the telly on and was watching Volcano, right? Which was on last night. Right. right. And I thought, oh, that, that's weird, right? I can see them all watching it, and it was like a little Chinese lad who was dancing around in some underpants. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's a little old woman who lives downstairs who was reading a book, and she's always reading a book every night, and it's like, I have a better life than her. And then there's a, there's like some sort of bouncer who's always getting ready to go out late at night yeah. with all the black on, he looks like a bouncer. So I was watching all this life yeah. going on, I thought... Did you witness a murder while you were doing this? <laughs> yeah. It was like, it was like that sort of sliver film where that bloke had loads of tellies watching yeah, people's sure. lives. So that was going on in my mind. And then I was washing up and I picked up the plate and I thought, oh, it's amazing, isn't it? The, the human body. The way you can just sort of, you know, I want to pick that up and you do. Yeah. And the way your hands work, right? Yeah, you've got five little digits, but it's, it's just the right amount to do what you've got. Yeah. To do what you've got to do, right? So... <laughs> So I'm, I'm wash- I'm cleaning the plate. <laughs> Sorry, Carl! Stop! It's just the right amount. Might be one of the most genius things I've ever heard said. I would love David Attenborough to phone you up and say, Carl, how do I word this about the evolution of the mammalian front, uh, limb? Just go, we'll just say it's the right amount. Huh? But it is. It one, is. One of extra would get in the way. Yeah. And one less would just make it that little bit more tricky when picking up a, a bit of a slippery dish. Sure, or, <laughs> buy, or buying gloves. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a slippery dish. So then, I, I was thinking, oh. uh, imagine like going to the doctors and they're saying, yeah, everything's all right, your heart's good and everything, but... <laughs> your heart's good? What, your Larry's or...? Yeah, your heart, your heart, yeah. you're, you're in good form and what sure. have you. It's good news, you know, I had Jono in earlier, he's not looking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had but, fat uh, Waller. But yeah. you're, you're all right, but your hands need to come off. <laughs> right. <laughs> Blimey. But, That's bad, like, I'd get a second opinion initially. <laughs> But a better good news, I've got a nice pair of feet I can sure. sort you out with. Yeah. And he puts them on, and then I was thinking, right, first of all, <laughs> washing up, what would that be like? <laughs> but... Steve! I, <laughs> that'd be tricky. Really, yeah. And then the second thing was, it'd probably ruin the, the, sort of the shape of your jumper. Because <laughs> you had to keep putting the feet through there. Yeah. And then I thought, but I could still cycle in. Okay. To work. You could run in. Well, that's the thing. You'd was, be like, you'd be really yeah. fast. Well, but... that's what I was thinking. I thought I could still cycle because I could balance. And then I thought, but the only thing is, I probably couldn't pull the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Because of the little short things. Yeah, yeah. And then, like you, I thought, but then again, you'd run in in half the time. So that's what was going on in last night. Right. That's what I was thinking about. Sure. Did you? Did you? How ever... long did this take? <laughs> Well, how long has it took to wash up? Right. Because I imagine you just being there for, like, all night. 
probably <laughs> 25 minutes. How long did the little Chinese fella dance for in his pants? He's always doing it. Last night he was at it for like 10 minutes. Just, yeah. And his girlfriend never sits in the same room as him. She's always sat in the bedroom. <laughs> She's going, you, you dance in pants again, I go in next yeah. door. Well, she was in the bedroom. She's always in the bedroom, sat on the floor, on the mobile phone. Right. Really? All the time, yeah. It's weird how people's lives are just like, it is like that Groundhog Day thing. It's like, you know, he's jumping about in his underpants. <laughs> the old woman's sat there reading a book. Yeah. And that's what got me thinking about my life. Do you think she ever <laughs> Are you sure she's not dead? <laughs> <laughs> Every time you look down there, she's just flicking through it. She's just reading this book. The pages never turn. <laughs> she never seems to finish it. Oh, she never moves you, from her chair. Are you sure, are you sure the Chinese her girl's cats going- cats are dead around I, her. I, I, I'm going into next door again. That little yeah. round-headed fella's smell. looking in. He's looking in at me. The bouncer goes, don't worry, love. I'll go and beat that's, him up. But he's always true. getting ready. That's true. They're they, see, they see you staring at and washing up going, I could have feet here. And they get yeah. scared. The old woman's dead. <laughs> oh, Carl, can you tell us roughly which neighbourhood you live in, so so it's, that we know? It's central. Central, is it? Yeah. yeah. Wow, imagine if that little... D was he a Chinese fellow, did you say? Yeah. Imagine <laughs> if he was listening now, I'd love him to call in and explain these actions. Well, he, he might be on some other radio station talking about a lad who's always washing up and <laughs> yeah. looking at his hands in a mysterious way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, do we have this doctor, this doctor that would go, well, all right, Carl, I've got... You can either leave him as stumps, or I've got a little pair of feet. Why, uh, I mean, I t told Jane this, and Jane went, D is that the only choice? Is he, you could say, could I have some dead man's hands? <laughs> have you got any, have, if you, where do you get the feet from? Where do you get the feet from? Can I have, can I have, what would you rather have then? Human feet or monkey paws? Well, I mean, that wasn't an option last night. That if the doctors no. said No, it wasn't an option last night, but don't forget, it's in your head, Carl. <laughs> this didn't happen. No, this but I'm just saying, at the time, that's all the doctor had to offer. But you know, it's your head, you can go anywhere. No, 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 it wasn't a real doctor to offer. It's in your head, you can go anywhere. Y you're not trapped. Yeah, but if you can do anything, then you'd say we'll sort us out some other hands. <laughs> Fair point, let's play so, record. So. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta come back to this. Someday, XFM, 104.9, Ricky Gervais. Lads, can I just stop you there straight right. away? Because the record finished before we'd finished chatting about what we're going to do well, next. We're going to do, do Carl's stupid competition again. We're just trying to get the... I think, I think that you What you are the rules? Just, right, I Because last week it was a shambles, Rick. I know, it was too easy, that's no, why. The week before, I should no, say. No, I think, I think people should phone up now and be held in the queue, and then he should have the clue. Otherwise, because people are just phone up whether when they know the answer or not. But how is that entertaining to the listener? It's <laughs> That's not, what I'm gonna I throw think, back at you straight away. I don't think this is entertaining at all. I just think people might want to talk to Carl for us, just right. a split second. The way we'll do it, right? Yeah. Right? This is me role here, right? This is, this is the way we're gonna do it. Right. right. We're gonna say, if you want to win, The Office on VHS, right? Yeah. You can call don't it Don't say it like that. Like yeah, it's a don't rubbish say it like, prize. There is some- if you get the DVD, there's some special frottage. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, <laughs> it's impressive. Right, so they call up now on 08, 08, 700, 800, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Yeah. We, like, bung on a bit of Elton John in a bit, right? Mm. We line up two callers- Look forward to that, it's a beautiful track. Yeah? We line up two callers- Yeah. Right? And then, we have them on the air and we say, right, I'm gonna tell you the little story, you've gotta tell me what song it is. And they're playing against each other. Well, right. can they be? Could they be up at the same time then, so I can speak yeah. at the same yeah, time? Yeah, of course. Yeah. But how can they play against each other? Because they haven't got buzzers. It's or anything. the first one. They'll, they can say the name. They can shout out the name. And the, and it's organised. And they got as many goes as they want. No, I think no, they no, should no. have one go at a time, and then the other person can have a go, and then they can have another go. Yeah. It's like dueling. It's and, like dueling. And if they don't win, no one wins this week. We're not giving away prizes willy nilly. Sure. You know, <laughs> we can give one away next week again. Because you know, like the office is not costing us anything. Because we were like involved, know, we can get as I, many I, copies as you want of that. I like <laughs> Seriously. it. I like it when like we got them coming out of our. Uh, do, you, do, do you think the listeners are usually in on sort of board meetings like this? <laughs> or do you? you know, I usually... said this before, guys. I said before <laughs> I we know. should do this off air, but you, you refused imagine, to try. Imagine Chris Talent going. Hold on, what they they can they can what do they, they do? Can they, 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 they can phone a friend. Yeah, they just phone a friend. Look, come down. To, right, okay. Look, we haven't got this. We've right, got this sorted. Right. Phone up now. Phone up. We'll have to. We'll play some adverts. Phone up now. Yeah. Right, so so that's the plan then. Okay, right. we're gonna have a beautiful track here. Continuing our wait, whoa, 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 wait, Steve, 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 Steve. Go on. Right, I've said your name five times now. I don't need to mention you at all next week. Right, um, we're gonna play uh, Out and John. Continuing our sort of thing of don't don't diss them just because they're old and bald now. Yeah. They used to be good. This is a beautiful track. I dissed him, didn't I? Yeah. Um, called Tiny Dance. So we enjoy that. Yeah. Enjoy that. Enjoy listener. that. 
and then- If, if not the Now, show. Steve, what were you gonna say? <laughs> Thanks for asking. I was just gonna say, <laughs> what should the audience be doing now? If they're listening at home, they wanna play the game, what should they be doing, Carl? Should they be phoning say you Say the now? phone number they, again. They should be ringing 08700 800 1234. 08700 800 1234. And two lucky contestants get to play- um, Your game. Yeah, what's the song? What's the song that Carl's thinking Could of? Could I give you a clue when you call up? You've got more chance of playing if you don't sound like a mentalist. <laughs> exactly. Most of the people that phone sound a bit like Carl. We're not interested. We don't want those sort <laughs> no. of people. Yeah. We want people who can, you know, who are maybe eloquent. Why are you watch me in my pants? <laughs> <laughs> Out on John, Tiny Dancer. What Beautiful. a great track. Oh, that's that is. Well, we've got. <laughs> di uh, well, despite Carl's actions, you should have seen Carl. It was like squiddly diddly. <laughs> His arms and legs there, he'd have been better with feet. I'll tell you. He didn't know what he was doing. We were getting angry. At one point, he went, Oh, we get a man and a woman. And the uh, <laughs> bloke phones up. He goes, Are you a bloke? The bloke goes, Yeah, he goes, Hold on. And then another bloke goes, He goes, Oh, you're a bloke. Oh, we wanted a woman. <laughs> and the bloke said, oh, God, he, goes, he goes, put the woman on. She came on, he went, are you the woman? <laughs> it's the way he speaks oh, he's to people. So, who have we got on the line? Here's the woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's the woman. Hello. Hello. Hi, uh, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah, okay. Right, Steve, you, you, you want to be rooting for this? Well, I think we should, it seems to me because you may need some help because obviously Carl's mind is, uh, is a, a viper's nest. Yeah. It's a jungle in there. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if you want to call anyone at any point, maybe you've got some questions you want to just consult or con confer, then I'll be on I your side. You're like, you're, it's, she's like, you're like her phone a friend. Exactly, I'm the phone a friend. And I'm the, uh, ask the audience. Who's and the bloke? Who's the bloke? It's Owen. Owen, okay, I'll, I'll be um, helping you out. Should you need any help or clues as you know, as insight into Carl's mind, I must tell you though, we don't know what Carl's going to come up with now either. No, we I keep it. We keep it real like this. I should just say for people who've not heard the show before, um, this is where Carl now will tell us a cryptic story. And basically, hidden within that will be a clue to the title of a song. I say cryptic, it's- it's- Gobbledygook. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. So, okay then, um, just to find out, um, uh, who- who goes first, my lad or- or your girl, um, I'm gonna, um, uh, uh, toss a coin in my head. Okay. So, who, who can guess Well, first? ladies first, ladies first. Okay, what was your so name again, sorry? Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, so Sarah. Sarah okay. So, Sarah, uh, heads or tails? Heads or tails. Tails. No. Right, my lad will go first. Okay, okay so, then. Right. so what this means is, when he's finished the, uh, the cryptic clue, you, Owen, will get to guess first, but if you get it wrong, it goes over to Sarah, and then back and forth until one, hopefully one of you gets it right. Okay. okay. Uh, we could be here for some time. Yeah. Right, and what, what, what are we playing for here? A DVD or video of The Office? Whatever we can whatever find. Whatever you've got, whatever format you've got. Yeah. Okay, yeah. then. Brilliant. Okay, Carl, go. Right, so here we go. So then, it's right? the name of a song we're looking for. Brilliant. Right, this bloke, is had a, uh, He's had a good night out at the yeah. pub. Right. This is probably all irrelevant. Mm -hmm. um, Remember that, Owen. This could all be irrelevant. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Right. So he's had a good night out with his mates and that, and uh, he's really enjoyed himself. And he's on his on his way home, and it's just like any any ordinary night, right? Everything's just normal. He's seen the same people leaving leaving the pub, going home, and he's like, "See you, you know, see you tomorrow night. I'll, I'll be out tomorrow, seven thirty, and what have you." <coughs> and and they're on the way home, and uh, it's a nice night. Everything's everything's nice, and he's walking home, and he sees this sort of sort of smoke coming out of a grid, right? Some smoke coming out of a grid. Yeah, a bit a bit of like smoke. And he thinks, what's that? All right? And this is what's weird because it's like any other normal night, but this time the smoke coming out of the grid, and he goes over to it, and he can hear some moaning. All right? It's like ooh, so he he thinks this isn't right, so he stands over the grid. And he's and he's looking down and he can't see anything, so he lifts the grid up, right? Do you mean a grill? No, a grid. A you grid. You know, like a grid in the street. What? Yeah, he Not means really. a grill. A grill. Okay. All right. And he lifts it off <laughs> and he's looking in and like more smoke's coming out, and he can hear the moaning getting louder, and then this little demon pops his head out. Oh. Right. Bloody and, demons. And he goes, "Are you all right?" Yeah. And the little demon goes, "Oh, I'm hurting." And he goes, what do you mean you're hurting? He said, oh, it's dead hot down there, you know. <laughs> and, and it's weird, because he works it out that it's, like, come from hell, right? Yes. And it, he's going, oh, I'm all hot and burning, all his skin sort of really red raw because of all the flames in hell and stuff. So he goes, oh. He said, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll take you to the doctors. And the, and the little demon's like, what, you, you'll do that for me? 
And he goes, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. And he texts him to the doctors, what's the song? That was, uh, Ricky Gervais, next FM, it's three o'clock now, we're going over to <laughs> Natasha. <laughs> Thanks very much, see you next week. Bye. Man, a long, right. that, was, that was quite a long story. Ooh. Is Owen and Sarah still there? Yeah. Have you dozed off? <laughs> You're still with us. Okay, Owen. Any clues? No, uh, not yet. I, I haven't a got guess. a clue. I haven't got a clue. I've, I, I have <laughs> no idea. Can I think out loud with Owen, do you think? No, I think him? Owen needs to at least okay. have a guess before Go on, have a guess, can. Owen. Uh, smoke on the water. No. Well, it's not, is it? So, it's not gonna be that. okay. Over Sarah, to you. what do you think? <laughs> Bat out of hell. Mm. It's a good guess. <laughs> no, not. It's not right. Not right. <laughs> right, Carl, you'd have to give him a little clue. Um, well, think about the little fella. Think about the little demon. Yeah. Okay. There's the clue. Brilliant. Thanks for that. Where did I say you came from? Highway to hell. Mm, on the right, along the right lines, but not the right song. Back Sarah. to Sarah. <laughs> Stay away to heaven. Oh. <laughs> Carl, if this is rubbish, I'm never working with you again. <laughs> if this doesn't work, what do you mean? If this is right. rubbish? <laughs> <laughs> right, th right. Okay, take it. Take the main bit of the story. What's happening? We don't know what What's the main, the main bit, bit is. Of the story. It took thirty minutes. The grid. There's the grid, we got the grid, grid the yeah. smoke. What's it's he got... done? How did the story end? He went to the doctor. He went to the doctor. He went to the doctor. Who did he text to the doctor? He went to the little demon. demon fella. Why did he do that? Because Sarah, was, come on, that's a big clue. Right, why did- Sarah, come on, let's think about this. Why would he take a little burnt demon to- Was he burnt? He well, was burnt, wasn't he? He was- he's from hell. Yeah, all the flames yeah. and that, and all his skin hell. was really raw, and he's like- he was moaning in pain. And oh. the little fella goes, yeah, I am on the way home, my tea's gonna be in the oven and everything, but do you know what? I'm gonna take you to the doctors and sort you out. Sick. Doctors. <laughs> doctors. Oh, God. Is there man. anyone you've got there in the house who could maybe help you? <laughs> like a sort of eight-year-old child? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. An alien. Yeah. <laughs> um. I've got a three-month-old baby. <laughs> oh. He probably talks more sense. Yeah. <laughs> Not than you. <laughs> than Carl, we mean. Um, oh. Right. Right, I'll tell you what, let's play a record. But these let's all have a chat. These poor people have got lives. Sure. They're, they've oh, got yeah, like we haven't. No, but I know, they, they, Carl, this I is. I got, there's so many things I could be doing instead of this, Rick. I know, but Carl, Carl. We'll play some ads, right? They can't back. stay on the line. They've for got three minutes. They're, they're playing for a video, eh? Three, <laughs> they've got three minutes to think about it. Is that all right with you? Okay. Yeah, and is that all right, Owen? Yep. Sorted. <laughs> Right. Please try and guess this, because Carl's threatening to roll it over to next week. Oh. I know. I, d I don't want to live a week trying to think of a little burnt devil in a in a grid, <laughs> as he calls it. Burnt right. devil in a grid. <laughs> devil, in a, devil in a grid. Devil in a grid. Excess. Smoky, smoky devil, devil. Oh God. <laughs> oh, um, burnt devil grid. Sarah, any grid? What's a grid? Any it means idea? a grill. It means the little thing in the in the uh, smoke. Burn. Smoke on the water. Bar smoke. Barbecue to doctor. Burnt. Doctor. doctor. Owen, any. Any ideas? Uh, devil without a cause by Kid Rock. No. What we're gonna oh, do? Is, is, is the word devil right? Yeah. So devil's a, a key word here. And you're thinking about what the bloke's? What's the bloke done? He's took him to devil the doctor. Why? Why did devil. he do that? Why didn't he just say, "Oh yeah, it looks terrible, but I've got to get off home." He's, he's a good he's Samaritan. A, he's a good Samaritan. Right. He's a, he's a good guy. He's a. Uh, he's a good guy. Saviour. Devil. Saviour. Devil for later. <laughs> we're really running out. I've of got time. it. I've got it. Have you really, Sarah? Yeah. I tell you this, love, you are, you have got something to entertain yourself with in about three weeks' time when we get the, the DVDs and videos through. Cool. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Sympathy for the Devil. Well done! <laughs> sympathy for the Devil. Carl, oh, man rubbish, alive. It's, it's not... rubbish, that's not a cryptic clue. <laughs> it's not rubbish. Sympathy for the Devil. You said he wasn't the devil, you said he was a demon. Right, yeah, but I one. No. Right, okay. Sympathy for. What, what's all that rubbish about him being burnt and taken to the hospital? Sorry, Rick, but I'm noting a little, uh, a little whiff yeah. of jealousy there. It's so rubbish. No, I'm sorry, but Sarah cannot, is happy. It's not allowed to try and make people her guess. Her baby is happy. Sarah. Her, her husband, or maybe partner, sorry, maybe they're Owen. not married, maybe they're living in sin. She, he's also happy. Yeah. They're happy. That household is happy. Owen's Owen, Owen, devastated. Yeah. yeah. Owen. Do you, what, do you want it on DVD or video? DVD, please. DVD. Mm -hmm. Sarah, okay. thank you very much indeed for playing. Cheers, Owen, commiserations. Sarah. Sorry, Owen. Yeah. Triumphant. Another You're triumph. You're so rubbish, Carl. Carl. You are so rubbish. Oh, you got it right. Oh, dear. Rubbish.
Well done, Steve. Jealous. Jealous. I love it. I thought it was a great one. It's nice one. fine. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant. Absolutely, yeah. Hello. That clang you heard there isn't Carl. No. Carl's away. It's Sturgis. Claire Sturgis is here. Yeah. Hey. You'll know her from the Claire Sturgis show. But uh, we know her from our early days on XFM, yeah. and you know we're, we're good friends. It's sort of like uh, old times, isn't it? And Carl is uh, had a little surprise birthday present. What's the story with this, Claire? Because I don't well, know. Well, I d do you know? I, I came in on Monday expecting to see his little smiley face yeah. as yeah. usual, and uh, it's always not here. Uh, yeah. What do you mean? So, but his girlfriend had surprised him and dragged him off to the Caribbean for a week. Wow. No, Canary, isn't it? Oh, Canary. I mean, I yeah, don't know. He, he likes the Caribbean. He likes the crabs. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought he was bored of the Caribbean. I thought he didn't enjoy it last time. No, he loved it, didn't he? No, I don't think he did enjoy no, the crabs. No, Tunisia he didn't like. Right. He's but been travelling, hasn't he? I know, yeah. He gets a He didn't like Tunisia because there's flies the size of matchboxes. Of course. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, midgets in the kitchen. No, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Midges or midgets? <laughs> midgets, he said. Right. It was kitchens. midgets. He wasn't saying anything bad, he said that there were lots of midgets in there. Lots of midgets in the and kitchen. And I thought it was, he'd, he'd gone away to some sort of like theme holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> no, this is uh, I think Grand Canaria, all the Canaries or whatever it's And called. how old is Carl? Wait, I, 30. Is he 30? Is 30 last week, I think, yeah. Oh, so it oh. was actually a birthday present. Oh, yeah. Right. Big yeah. Okay, I just so, thought, but, yeah. but, but that's all right. So have you got a competition that you can uh, regale us with, Claire? Because uh, obviously Carl provides a lot on this show. Hold on. We could do what? White Van Clare. White Van Clare? <laughs> yeah. Have you, are you familiar with this? We ask no. you questions, uh, topical questions, just okay. getting your opinion, really, on the, the week's news. Okay, yeah. Um, it's on the spot. You to that. But you know I'm a little bit, you know. A little bit simple? That's well, fine. Just a little bit, you know. What? What? I always sit on the fence. Don't oh, I? Well, don't you sit on the fence. You see, the worst thing there was, she was saying I'm a little bit like, you know, uh, liberal or I was I I decided no, I was you went simple. <laughs> yeah. You well, assumed. I didn't, know, I didn't know. I thought I'm a little bit, what, coked up? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? It's Sturgis. Anything could be possible. <laughs> but, but the other thing is with Carl, we didn't know how good value Carl was until we asked him sort of intelligent well, questions. Well, enough. Because yeah. he, he looks quite intelligent, Well, this he? is it. I mean, so the we thing might, with you, Claire, I don't think we've probed you enough. We don't know what, you know, your views are on a lot of me enough, actually, But we don't know what your views are, you know? That's what I'm saying. We yeah. don't know where you stand. I mean, don't sit on the fence. This is the, this is the new Claire Sturgis. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're yeah, gonna dynamic. Find a personality in there, Claire. Let's go back right. to the old days. <laughs> How about a bit of the Smiths? That was beautiful, Rick. Go on. Oh, you've been practicing. <laughs> <seven days. laughs> Lovely. Smiths. Cemetery Gates. It's a lovely tune. Mm. Lovely song. There's one bit that worries me about it. It's sort of like a. A, like a teacher warning. He goes, you must contrive, uh, prose and poems and the words you use should be your own. Don't plagiarise or take on loan. It's sort of like, what are you telling us now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, yeah. a lot of people are going, thanks, Morris. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, actually, yeah, that's not mine. That's Wordsworth. Right, I'm gonna write my own. Yeah, yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Queen then, is Dead, though, one of the great, great I album it's titles. It's not my favourite album. I, I, it was voted best album but of But the all Smiths, time, what I love about Smiths, they just seem to get, like, the Smiths is that's, just a that's done, brilliant yeah. name. Yeah. Don't you think it just captures everything about yeah. them? Yeah. You know. We've got a thing about bad. Bad, um, yeah. Well, I was watching, I was watching, uh, VH1 <laughs> Classic Smooth last night. <laughs> and, do, yeah. uh, I love it. Actually, Charlie. Joy. Sharday always on. You yeah. can always get a love <laughs> bit of Sharday. But, um, <laughs> Foreigner were on. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, waiting. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, well, I don't know which, I can't remember which tune it was, but, uh, the album I noticed it came from, classy album title, Agent Provocateur. Oh. As so, oh, mm. it makes my skin crawl. But I also, from the I, album Agent Provocateur. I, I imagine a, there's a, a band called Agent Provocateur, um, and they're from Wigan. It's a it's a girl singer. She's thirty five yeah. in a tight dress, <laughs> and it's yeah. four blokes with ponytails. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Doing covers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, here's what yeah, you they, remember. They, they, then they play a wedding. They go, "We're not doing a wedding again." There was people. There was, there was cake yeah. being trodden in. There was exactly. kids. Children yeah. were just sliding across the yeah. parquet floor. Yeah. They weren't yeah. listening to the music. But we, yeah. yeah. Well, we've got a gig at the marquee coming up soon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, It's uh, endless guest list. Five quid in. <laughs> Oh, oh, Argent Provoc Provocateur. If your band's Argent Provocateur or oh, Agent yeah. Provocateur, have you ever been in a band yeah. called Argent? Yeah, but uh, but that's got to be one of them because it's not. I don't know what that title says. I don't imagine Foreigner. I've got that sense of intrigue and well, one of my right, one of the worst names. Right, okay, to pal. <laughs> right, it's Who? the worst. This, uh, uh, yeah, let's start worst album titles. Okay, I'll, I'll kick off with To Pal, Bridge of Spies. <laughs> oh. Bridge of Spies. Is that the one that featured China in your hand? I assume so. I don't think I did too many. Um, Bridge okay. of Spies? Who did Bridge this of album? Spies? Who did this album? Um, Beggar on a Beach of Gold. <laughs> Beggar on a Beach of Gold. It's got the likes of Collins written all over it, but I know it's, it's not very Collins. close. Mechanics. Mike and the Mechanics, yeah. of course. I don't know what that means. Good old Mike He's a beggar on the beach of gold. Just look around, there's yeah. some money. <laughs> yeah, what he's saying, mean? he's <laughs> saying, don't be a tramp, there's, there's some money some there, gold, mate. Right? I don't know what it means. I think he means that everyone else is rich, but he's still poor. Yeah. 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 
I actually, I yeah. like it. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit deep for me, Steve. Maybe you just need a little asterisk at the corner and then a little explanation <laughs> at the bottom of the record cover. I'm thinking about this, I'm not quite sure what it means. Oh! He's very nice poor one. emotionally. Um, yeah. Chumbawamba. Well, you know, what, what can Uneasy I- Uneasy listening. Yes! <laughs> I bet it was from the Chumbas. Uh, are they still cracking on? Are they? Because they didn't they used so. to live in a squat. They? They've done about um, four hundred albums. Them and the Levelers. Mm. Yeah, who's the best? Chumba one brought the Levelers. So good question. Thanks for asking that. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. What's the t- What's the telephone number, Claire? <laughs> it's a uh, oh eight seven hundred eight hundred one two three four. Or you can email Ricky Gervais at xfm uk. Worst album titles ever. It's like real radio. It's isn't just it? like Chris Moyles. It is, isn't it? Exactly. Oh. We've got the big fat guys on the telly. <laughs> yeah. In here. <laughs> You know, and uh, he's well. kind of cheeky sidekick. Am I uh, comedy Dave? You're almost as funny as Moyles. Fingers <laughs> <laughs> crossed one day. <laughs> right, Sturgis, you've brought in a record, haven't you? What are you going to play? Well, What's no, this I all about? Wanna, th- do you know what, like, a, a bootleg is, Ricky? Oh, what yeah. are you talking yeah. about? Oh, yeah. I've yeah. stacked a lot of them up on white label. Yeah, yeah go yeah, on. Yeah, okay. Well, no, this is quite a good one. The Ian Baker brought in the other day. Sure. It's, uh, it's a bit of Dre, a bit of Snoop Dogg, oh, yeah. mixed in with Crowded House. I thought you'd love it. Hold on. The juxtaposition there is exciting in itself. That's true enough. Play it. The weather episode, uh, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Crowdhouse, I love that. Enjoyable. That yeah. works for me, see? Yeah, what do you think? Stuff. No, it was nice. Well, I she started it. off all right. We'll give, should we give her one more go? I like a round of applause for Claire. Yeah, no, that's, that's brilliant. No, that's excellent, that. I love that. Rick, the, yeah, the phone, oh, it's just gone. The <laughs> phone, no, I tell you, the phone board had lit up there, Dre. Really? There was a call a buzzing call. through on call A call one. came through. A call came through on line one, yeah. and Sturgis just missed it. Carl would never have missed oh. that. He knows how valuable they are. I'm sorry. Yeah. That was probably someone with an amusing album title. No, I did get one, Steve. I what didn't get it? one. Someone Do you want to hear it? Go yeah, go on. Um, okay. Uh, this is from Al, who yeah. says that, what about this, H to H-E, who am the only one? Sorry, H to, to H-E, H-E, who am the only one. I don't know what it means. No. Van de Graaff generator. Oh, well, no wonder. That's the thing that you, one of those things at the museum that you wind up and you touch and it makes your hair stand on end. Yeah. That's the scientific thing, isn't it? Sure. I've given up, Steve. Yeah, no, you know, I that didn't really I make me laugh either. I'll be so. honest, I'm thinking that the whole kind of amusing album titles thing we should abandon. I, I, I thought that, I, as I, I thought said it, it. be honest with you, I thought it was easier than this. I mean, Chris Moyles makes it work, that kind of crazy comedy okay, uh, let's try radio it. magic. But obviously, it's, it, we, and I don't think our listeners are into that stuff. Uh, okay. I just don't think they can be bothered to get to the phone. I don't think a lot of them are able. I think a lot of them are, you know, do you <laughs> still remember when, smacked up. Do you remember when we spent about three hours trying to get to the Chris, through to the Chris Moyles show? I vaguely, yeah. What was the- what was He the was doing this, t- um, competition, <laughs> and it was, um, it was, uh, titles- song titles with golf, about golf. Like, so you go, like, drive, the cars, and yeah. that. And- and I was very- I was getting so excited, I went to the phone up and go, uh, ah, Duran Duran, golfy, golfy, golf, golf. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, yeah. and I just thought, and, and I, it might have, oh god, yeah, it probably cost me about ages. 30 quid just yeah. to ruin Chris Miles' competition. Yeah. And uh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, those were the days. When we, when we realised, you know, he was a great talent and one to watch. Yeah. Before we'd enjoyed his new TV show. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, anyway. Yeah. Um, uh, that's not. No, that's cheap. It's cheap. It's yeah. cheap. Anyway, um, what should we talk about now then? Because that was, that, that all went well. <laughs> No, I mean, that's 20 minutes, that's 20 minutes done, Fantastic. and we've nailed, we've nailed amusing album titles, we've, um, we've done that, that's fine, so oh, we, we need uh, a new I, gimmick now. I'll tell you what, uh, it, you know, you know, <laughs> you no, got something, you got no, something, no, wait, you got wait, wait, something, wait, 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 you know, you again. know when <laughs> you go out, you take an umbrella you out, right? You leave the house, you've got, you got an umbrella, right? Yeah. And it's a really sunny day, <laughs> Yeah. and then you come out and you go, oh, I wish I'd bothered with that, because it's in the way. But then, right, imagine when you go out, Right, it's and raining. It, it's raining. No, no. You go out without an umbrella. <laughs> okay, and then it rains. <laughs> oh, what's, no. what's going on there? Oh, isn't no. that weird? Isn't it? So We've all been there. So We've all been there. if you've got like funny, weird observations of things that happen, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like that about umbrellas or any kind of sort of yeah. accessory or hats. Give the number out again, Claire. This is going to be brilliant. <laughs> this is, is going to be great. Brilliant. Take oh, this one. Oh, Take eight, this one. Seven hundred, eight hundred, one, two, three, four. Just comedy observations. Yeah, and stuff you thought of. Wacky stuff you thought of. Just tell us what kind of stuff you come up with. Get the Sony people on the phone. This is dynamite. Swayed. Uh, positivity. Absolutely. They could always do a good chorus, couldn't they? They, they could indeed. Um, I, I think we could play Pink. Is it just, is that really way out? You, you're saying that it'd Pink, be wrong? Pink, you can't yeah. play Pink. I like that new one. 
Yeah, but it, whether or not it's in the building. Up so no, you not that one. Get the oh, one um, started. Do you know who that's written by? Do you know who that's I'm written by? I'm trying to call the nurse, but she's being a little bitch. This that is one. a little bit interesting. You know, um, on, let's get the party started. I'm coming up. Yeah, you know, that, you know who that's written by? Well, the way you say it sounds a bit like um, is it, <laughs> is it Radiohead? Tom York? You're thinking no? No. <laughs> let's uh, get the party started. I'm coming, I'm coming up. up. I'm coming up. Is Careful! It, I'm coming up. Let's get the party started. I'll have one more case. Is it Johnny Rotten? Is Johnny Rotten? But this is the truth. It's written by that woman. With the goggles and the big hat that used to be in Four Non Blondes. <laughs> is it? It's written by her. Oh, you're not looking, you're not thinking of Snork, are you? No, no, no. Banana no, no. Splits. No, I oft, I oft got the two confused. Yeah. But, uh, no. So it goggle, it's goggle and the big hat. She had a big hat, didn't I she? Know, and a I pair know of goggles exactly and kind of sort, of, a sort of jippo look about her. What do you mean goggles? You can't say jippo. What do you mean goggles? <laughs> what's the, what's <laughs> the correct word to say? Gypsy. Jippo is, yeah, it's a terrible derogatory term. It's like. Well, she looked like some kind of stranger. And, um, she sort of had like matted dreadlocks. And, you know. Selling clothes pegs? She, yeah, she. <laughs> yeah. Listen, but lucky, lucky, lucky Heather, lucky Heather. Yeah, <laughs> she she had a big leather. Hat. Do you remember when you got stopped with lucky Heather and you oh, didn't buy it? And then you had some bad luck. I had some bad luck about ten minutes later. Yeah, so I always stop and buy something. <laughs> Um, uh, so I've got so shed loads of it at home. So I, don't, I don't know when you've got to throw it away. They don't tell you how long you've got to keep it for, for the six, good luck. Six of January. <laughs> yeah, keeping it after that's bad luck. Yeah. I'm getting confused again, aren't I? Um, <laughs> um, no, what it was- I don't know which myth to believe in. Right, stop it. Let's go back go to, uh, oh, I've got a party started so going when are you <laughs> up. Yeah. Um, that is, as so I say- So Flegel, she's Is that her name? No, that's one of the banana splits. Now you confuse me. Flegel's the one with the big teeth and right. the and the goggles. Right. Snork is the one with the, basically. To be honest, I think it's an elephant. Okay. I think they've they've pretended they've made up an animal. There's so they, many people listening who don't know who the banana splits are. The banana splits. The banana splits. <laughs> the, right. Listen, this they know the banana splits are, and even people under twenty know them. Right. Well. Um, uh, Snork, Flegel, Drooper. Who was the other one? If you can remember the name of that. <laughs> yeah, what's the number? Because I actually want to know this. This is what radio's for. When I can't think of something, they tell me. Yeah. So it's 08700 Drooper and Snork. I've no idea. I've God. no idea. Flegel, Drooper and Snork. Da-da, da-da, Drooper and Snork. Flegel. Bingo! Nice. Well done. Don't bother calling. <laughs> <laughs> that, that particular uh, tragedy or that has yeah. been avoided. Bingo. I yeah. don't know what bingo looks passed. like. Yeah. There was one anyway. that was, there was one that had sewn up eyes. Drooper, I think. Sorry, go on. No, anyway. Um, w uh, my point was this. Go that, on. Um, Pink. Oh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> no, really? I can't be bothered. I think Pretty. we can play that new one by Pink. You can sort of play like, Pink. Why? Because it's too poppy. They just won't allow Pink on XFM. They what? They will not allow Pink on XFM. They what? They Wait a minute, that's red rag to a ball. <laughs> I've someone's, been a someone's telling you that you can do something. <laughs> That's crazy. Right, let's oh, also get the new Justin Timberlake single. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and the I thing say is, what? Ricky, you're gonna have to nip down and have a word with Foxy because we haven't got it up here. Really? Yeah. I'd I mean, love, love it. Can't but... you call someone at Capital Radio? Well, yeah, can we call someone? What's that one by Busted? That's what I go to school for. What about Abs? That's Dynamite. Abs. The new one from Abs. <laughs> Dynamite. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, play a record and we'll discuss this pink thing. We do uh, a bit of Cat. Oh, yeah. Cat Stevens. Yeah. Yeah, Cat's Bullet 4. This is Sittings. Lovely. Piano and everything, innit? Oh, this was the tune we were originally gonna use as the theme music for TV's The Office. That starts yeah. again on Monday, I think. It's <laughs> right. Just play it. <laughs> Cat Stevens and sitting. I couldn't find Pink, Rick, but I've got the S Club Juniors. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Pink is all right. Magic just because right? it just because it hasn't got the credibility of like new punk and new metal. It's oh. a good tune. Uh -huh. It's all right. Don't, don't, we've never been snobby. We've never worried about credibility, have we? Hearsay. <laughs> <laughs> They're all down there. I can go and get them. I'll tell you what. If you're going to do that, I'm just going to play adverts from now on. Can we play <laughs> some adverts? <laughs> 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 Supergrass. Grace on XFM 104.9. I've been forgetting to say that. Yes. It's all gone to pot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant. Hello there. Little Carl's not here. Claire Sturgis is here. Absolutely. Hello. Yeah. Cracking. Yeah. Now, I think we can play Pink, you know. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't want to be responsible for it. No? I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem particularly with the lady. You know, she's made uh, a good effort. <laughs> with it, and I think, but apparently, it's it's either number one or it's going to it's likely to be number one really? this, uh, this week. So, so um, it's not that rebellious. Me it's not particularly this, rebellious. No, but um, I don't know. I mean, what worries me is uh, that whether the audience will turn against you, and that you'll lose all musical credibility. 
<laughs> have I got that's any? Still, no, no, did I have any? Little, very little. Really? I, um, had a, an email just now and I think maybe this answers why we didn't get very many calls about the, uh, give us a crazy band name or an, an album title. Think about the number? They, no, 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 they think maybe they're all at the, uh, the march, the big march. <laughs> <laughs> Which I makes a lot of sense because I would, I would imagine a lot of the sort of losers that listen to our show. What's the march Probably about? also agree that, uh, they should go and protest about a war. Oh, it's the oh, anti-war no, well, anti yeah, march. Yeah, it's yeah. the gangster war. <laughs> so, um, well, I don't really know the ins and outs of this, this whole thing, really. I mean, it sounds like yeah. it's a long way away. I, I, I suppose it's like, it. it, yeah. They, they were asked if they wanted a war, and they said no. Is yeah. that so bad, Steve? Yeah. Do that no, I, I mean, good luck to them. I, I don't think he's gonna have much effect, to be honest. <laughs> You don't think? No, I don't really believe in all that. I, I don't think he's worried in the light in the slightest. A couple no. of sort of dropouts and some sort of junkies are in the streets, you know. Well, you you, you say that you ladies. say that, but what what's their name? Some um, specials, Free Nelson Mandela. Eight years later, he was out. <laughs> that's true enough. So <laughs> that's absolutely. I forgot I, about that. I think they were and yeah. And, and uh, Live Aid sorted out world <laughs> hunger. Yeah, that, 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 that was that. Was so that was. Uh, but um, I see the difference there is Ebony and Ivory, no more racism <laughs> now. <laughs> but musicians- That was done. Rick, you see musicians were involved there. Yeah. I don't think any musicians are involved this time. I think, well, I think David Albarn's there, they but- pro They've probably taken their, their bongos and their digi-doos. The tablers. You can see they're walking down now, loads of ponchos. Yeah. You were gonna wear a poncho once, because you thought it'd make you more of a hit with the ladies, weren't you? Oh, but they're so now, ponchos. They are, in top shop, they are so now. So you'd have been ahead of your time. Yeah. As yeah. ever, as ever. You see, I think if you wait a couple of years, those clogs are being. Exactly. This is what I'm hoping. What about this pipe? <laughs> I like to think that they're gonna- they're, the pipe- the pipe is definitely on the way back at some point. The yeah, the pipe back. What do you think of a lady- uh, uh, sorry, as a lady, what do you think of a man who smokes a pipe? I think it's lovely. Do you think it's quite yeah, sexy? Very sexy, yeah. I think it's quite I wouldn't want to snog It you takes then. your breath away. What? Because I've given up smoking, Steve. Yeah, it takes- it takes- Well, I, w <laughs> I wouldn't be giving you a blowback. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that phrase is, Rick. I- I, I gambled with that phrase. <laughs> I don't know if a blowback- I don't- that could be obscene. <laughs> I've got no idea what a no, blowback is. No, I think is. it is very- very sexy in a sort of a Val Dunican kind of way. He never smoked a pipe. Not Did he not? No, he smoked no. a goat. Oh, right. Well, he's talking about smoking a goat. What about Paddy McGinn's goat, it blew you know, up. If you look at pictures of the great sort of thinkers of our time, you know, maybe they're at college or university in the sort of 1930s, mm. you've got those great, you know, the great thing of people who became the great artists of our century, and yeah. you see pictures of them in Oxbridge when they're in 19, they're all smoking pipes in tweed suits. Yeah. No young people now are smoking pipes. I fear that it's gonna be dead in like 15 years. I don't think anyone's gonna be smoking pipes. But I think, again, you I are feel like maybe it's me with a certain time. profile. Yeah. Maybe I've gotta yeah. try and bring it back. Bring it back. I think so. You know, and then we could be seeing kids in Top Shop on a Saturday. And let's not forget sniffing Snuff. Some snuff. <laughs> I, I, my nan yeah. used to sit there with two brown stains just dribbling from her nose. Lovely. S s s s yeah, oh. and that bit of snuff and some gin. Well, this oh. is it. I, but I, cause my friend always said if he won, um, millions of pounds, he'd spend it all trying to bring back as a fashion accessory the cape. <laughs> the cape? Because <laughs> I think See, the I cape- like Cause the you cape, can make such an entrance with the cape. And a cane. You? A cape and a cane, yeah, and a top hat. I wish people had to wear hats now. I see. I, 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 I couldn't I carry it off because my shape and size. I look like Bertie Bassett. <laughs> Whereas <laughs> you'd look, you look like Basil Rathbone. I'd, well, or something. I'd look you'd, pretty good at all sort of you'd Christopher good, Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. You would. Because I'd sweep into a room. You I know. know. It, see, I think you look like. And don't, don't get this wrong. Don't take this wrong. Like, <laughs> we're mates. I think you look like a freak with a cape on. <laughs> okay. So all right. Well. And at which point would you take it one step further and add the deer stalker? You know, and go the whole Sherlock Holmes. Well, like, yeah, I'd have the cape, the pipe, the deer stalker, yeah. and I'd solve crimes. <laughs> it looks great. It looked like uh, um, some sort you of could be my fat companion. <laughs> <laughs> I could be. What I'd sort of like get padding and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I like that. Yeah. 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 I yeah. like to solve. I'd like to solve more crimes, if I'm being truthful. I'd like to- I would love I, to know, solve I, crimes. Just to solve one crime would be oh, great. I wouldn't- I wouldn't matter if I solved it. If I- please came to me and said, I went, I'd just look at the first one, i go in. Yeah. Just get it off the streets, you know what I mean? Just like, tick, done that. Sure. Yeah, but you I know. just feel there'd be something. I, th I feel like maybe I, because you know, like in in TV shows, it always used to be, you know, they were a like they were a doctor who also solved crimes. They were a plumber. They solved crimes. Quincy, Quincy, Quincy you know, oh, yeah. yeah. But you know, a couple of sort of BAFTA winning writers. What did heart to heart also do? solve crimes? That's good. That'd be good. <laughs> That'd be great. What did heart to heart do? They were just millionaires. They were just a couple, a millionaire couple who would invariably sort, you know, uh, uh, what was but the murder she wrote? They did that every week though. Was every she? week, heart to heart. Murder oh. she wrote. She murder wrote she it and she solved it. She always solved it. It's brilliant. Murder she did wouldn't have been such a good sort of no, like thing. No, no, no. 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 Um, but this is why I mean, you don't seem to get that anymore. You know, people who uh, do one job for a living. You know, DJ who also solves crimes. A Wasn't a, well, the DJ who solved crimes? That was um, shoestring. Was he a DJ? Yeah. He was. He was Eddie a private Shustring. ear, was that, was wasn't he? Was he was a, a private a DJ ear a on the radio. Eye. Is that what that was? That the thing yeah. they did? Not a private eye, private ear. Is that what they yeah. said? Yeah. And how did he solve it? He worked out clues yeah. for callings and stuff. Yeah. No, he used to leave the building. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he didn't just sit there and play records and then try and guess. <laughs> That's so, great. <laughs> give us a call on the usual number <laughs> if you've got any idea uh, who murdered. Uh, now it's snitch hour. Got a letter here. Who well, reckons I she knows? Used, I know a lot of my friends are uh, big fans of Midnight Caller. Do you remember oh, that, yeah, Was yeah. he a DJ just, uh, who solved crimes? Yeah, it was one of those late night things in America, wasn't it? But did, was he a DJ? He solved crimes, didn't he? I don't know if he'd solved crimes or just solved- If you've ever solved a crime, email solved us. Solved puzzles. <laughs> he, had, he had one of those puzzler books. Weren't you on the front cover of Puzzler once? One of those things you get- Weren't mm. you? Puzzler. Were you? Was I? No, no, I don't think so. Oh, it was your other friend, a friend of mine, DJ, yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah. Puzzler magazine. That's it, yeah. So was, was Puzzler a rude thing? No, no, it's one of those things that you Those do, puzzle books you can you, buy. You, you, oh, you, actually, you, it's a puzzle. You do oh, for coach see. journeys. And they just put they just people's pictures on without permission. Yeah. And people are just like, well, I didn't give permission. They just, they just find, like, um, like celebrities and they just get their picture and they stick them on the well, front. Well, they would have yeah. used me then, would they? Well, I, I forgot. I didn't, I didn't. A. Pink. Should we play pink? Yeah. Oh man. Oh, I don't live by the rules. Be on your head. Here we go. <laughs> that was the strokes and <laughs> kids are <laughs> kids are mental. Yeah. That was no, you're all right. No, shut up. <laughs> no, the thing is, I, I think if we'd introduced that as just, and we didn't mention who it was, and we just said this is the new one from one of those trendy new bands, you know, the Boomtown Rats. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, <laughs> ah, I'm sure they, these oh. listeners would have happily accepted it. Yeah. As it was, they knew it was pink, and the, the phone lines have gone crazy. We had upwards of two oh. calls. <laughs> <laughs> we had, I'll tell you this, we had between two and four calls. <laughs> And, um, and, uh, <laughs> and they've not, they've not enjoyed it. Why do we do it. this show? They've we don't need it. to do this show. Because you we, love us. We could be on Radio 1. Oh, man, I We like could it. be on Radio 2, probably. Yeah. I don't know. Virgin, uh, uh, I think, called once. Yeah. Um, but Someone just the email, they just said, uh, Pink Sounds Like Run For The Sun by Bucks Fizz. <laughs> 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 I can see what they're thinking. <laughs> uh, what do they want then? Well, yes. Okay. F God, what's the phone oh, number again? Be, you, know, you know what people <laughs> like. They, I never. Do you? Ever, I never understand who phones already. Who tries? It took us like two hours to <laughs> fail to get through to Chris Moyles. People, what phone radio stations? Can you please play the new one by The Strokes? You just buy it, or you'll have the album. Why have you got it here on the radio? What difference does that make? Some guy talks at the end and the, and the beginning of it. Yeah. Partially ruins the song. I, I can't understand who phones up for requests. We're really alienating our listeners yeah. now, aren't we? Nice We're going, one. we don't care what you think, go and buy it. We're yeah. gonna play what we want and we don't care. Yeah. I mean, we're not being particularly funny or interesting. Oh. We haven't even got that to fall back on. I'll tell you what it is, we're arrogance. <laughs> Laziness. When you've got a, when you've got a, a hit TV show on your hand and you've won the awards and you're doing and you're make, you're making the kind of money that you are at those <laughs> massive corporate gigs, yeah, where they're paying yeah. you thousands of pounds to turn up for ten minutes, you, you don't need this. You, I mean, Steve, and, uh, Steve, don't don't you get that then? I'm afraid I don't, Claire. No, I don't no, we we no, we, no. Uh, we oh, we carved it up early on that. Um, Steve would not be making the sort of money that I would. <laughs> yes. And, uh, he shook on that. That was, that was written contractually. <laughs> yeah, <in> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I think- uh, Oh, I, so you it, did shake on that? Oh, yeah. yes. It oh, would yes. be, and it would be horrible to go back I don't think he realised quite the difference. Yeah. Um, but, the, the you know- huge success. I, I don't think yeah. he'd want me to Welsh on it. Right. I don't <laughs> think he'd be happy with himself if yeah. I gave him any- I you? couldn't live with myself if you <laughs> yeah. gave me some of that cash. <laughs> well, what should we play then? What should we play some- Should we, we play the strokes or something? Can we just save it playing the strokes? That's the stuff. Oh, thank God for that. Electric soft braid, same way every day. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Do you mean St me or the listener? The listener. Sure. Is it uh, what? So they didn't like. So they want good music. They see. <laughs> Apparently, Rick. They, so, what, they would prefer uh, good music to. They pink. want good music, do they? Are you sure they want good music? They, they, they appear to want good music, Rick. Why? Right. Wait a minute. What are you thinking? I'm going to think of playing a really good record next. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. They, they've woke me up now. They sure. want good music. They don't want, right. So, I will do a little deal with them. Okay. <laughs> I will play them a fantastic piece of music as long as they promise to turn the stereo up to number 10. <gasps> wee, wee, yeah, wee, 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 yeah, wee, wee, What about yeah. the neighbours, Rick? Think about the neighbours. What? You think they'll annoy the neighbours? They may annoy Steve, the maybe I want them to annoy the neighbours. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> what, Rick? What? You know what that was? What? It's the sound of the rule book being torn up. Yes! Yeah. Rick? Yeah. Yeah, you think I'm playing with fire? It sounds like it. Maybe I like getting burned. <laughs> oh, <laughs> careful, Rick, careful. Cause you could scold your hands, but what about your elbows? I wish I knew what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew what I meant. I didn't really right. think Right. This is a great piece of music by one of the greatest bands ever. Okay, it's one of their best songs. Yeah, that's okay. true. Okay. It is long. It's a long but, tune. Well, you know, what, what? 
What, you can't handle what, that? You can't, you don't want eight minutes Ooh, of the Who. you eight minutes of cracking music. Yeah, listen to this. Please switch off your radio. No, seriously, turn the radio up. Turn the crank it up. Turn the crank it up. Go. Rock it up. That makes up for pink, doesn't oh, it? Oh, man alive. Oh, that's It's an amazing me track. Out. It's incredible. And that, it is, I mean, incredible. It's textbook track. rock and roll. But that, uh, when I was growing up, I had two favourite lyrics all the time, and uh, one of them's in there. Meet the new boss, same as the old boss. Yeah. It sends a shiver in his spine. It's fantastic. And the other one was, um, it's on America's Tortured Brow, that Mickey Mouse has grown up a cow. Nice. Do you know who that is? Nice. Who? Got a phone in. This would be a competition. What should we give away? Um, office. <laughs> we haven't got any, have we? Just why don't you just sign your like signature on a piece of paper or something? That's got to be worth something in a couple of years. Four quid. Yeah, <laughs> four pounds you get on <laughs> it eBay. It would cheapen the piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, it, not if it's a rubbish bit of paper. I've had an which, email. Which here. I probably would sign. There's an e email here from uh, Davy. Look, it's lit up. No, wait a minute. Look at that. Oh my god. They've gone mad. They uh, answer it. Put them live. Oh. They might know the answer. Hang on. We're giving. We're giving some. We're giving uh, some uh, CD. How do you? How do you? Oh, put it why do you figure that out? Let me just read this email. Go on. If you're having to play, it says here, if you're having to play extra ad breaks and eight minute long songs, it just goes to show who provides all the material for that radio show of yours, uh, did Carl secretly write The Office as well? <laughs> and I think to myself, <laughs> it's like, what, what do you oh, want don't. from us? We'll just see if it's one of phone. the most incredible rock and roll tunes ever laid down on vinyl and you're whinging. I know. Because you'd rather have our inane banter. What kind of a person are no, you? No, they'd rather have Carl's inane well, banter. Clearly. Don't, don't big your roll up. They don't want us at all, Steve. I've just had a phone call from a very nice girl saying, where's Carl? I said, well, you know, he's back next week. Well, what's wrong with me? She went, no, you're lovely, Claire. but Carl calms the other two down. Sure. Really? Sure. Can, can we can just see if someone's on the phone? Yeah, go on in. Right, what are we going to give him? We're going to give him we some CDs. Nothing, so we're we're we'll take the name. Right, right. Anyone there? Hello? Hello? Oh, God, there's someone there. Oh, I've got to put my headphones on. Oh, hang on. Oh, uh, God, what was the, uh, what was the lyric again? Stay there, please. All right. It's on America's tortured brow that Mickey Mouse has grown up a cow. Life on Mars, David Life Bowie. on Mars, David oh. Bowie. It's easy as that. Hey. What's your name? It's John Ball. John Ball. John, I'll be honest with you, we got nothing. We got nothing to give uh, you. It's not good enough. No, yeah. we're getting some. We're giving, yeah, we're giving an office CD. He doesn't, and well, some... we can't keep doing that, Rick. It's We've got nothing yes, else. They don't, give, they don't give us anything, do they? They don't, they, uh, oh. <laughs> it's a wonder we get into the building. No I one's know, around on Saturdays. No one cares. Office DVD. Yeah, what, okay. what would you really like, though, if you could have anything? Yeah, Office DVD. See? There you fair go. Enough, enough. Brilliant. Okay. Stay on the line, mate, and I'll get you details. Okay. Excellent. That was a competition. We did- that was like real radio. Well done. It was like real radio. <laughs> now we've got to play David Bowie, haven't we? That's what they oh, do. Rick, you Foxy. Are, I see what you no, mean. No, but Foxy would have it well, you're lined have, up. Rick, you're gonna have a heart attack. Am I? Live on air. <laughs> It'll be yeah. the dramatic radio, and that's Sony Award winning, I know that. <laughs> Any kind of- I think you remember when Tony Blackburn had his breakdown on there. I think did he win awards for that? I mean, it was pretty impressive. Probably, stuff. it was pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what, what breakdown yeah, award? Have a breakdown. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. Uh, the the uh, this year's best breakdown on radio. <laughs> Tony Blackburn. Yeah, but um, or Tessa, Tessa, marry me. Yeah, it was something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. Did he play the same song again and again and again? Must did have been he? fascinating radio. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like Capital Now. <laughs> Oh, is that satire? Uh, high five. Is that nice We've one? done there. Oh, well done. Well oh, done. Are we owned by Capital. You've, you've we got, are, yeah. <laughs> yeah we, remember what happened last time? Sure. And now Richard Park, who owned Capital, is is the Grand Master. What? The Grand Master. He's, he's <laughs> grandfather. No. He's a headmaster. Um, headmaster of um, Fame Academy. Oh, is he? Yeah. Okay, let's play a record now, because you, you you have to lie down. Because you're, <laughs> you're just getting so worked up now. I can tell when there's an excitement and enthusiasm and sweat, beads of sweat run down well, your brain. Well, it started off so badly, we had nothing, but then I did a competition, gave away some things. You've got an email that really annoyed you, haven't you? Well, we can talk about that later. Yeah. Um, but yeah, whenever I see beads of sweat, I know, because that's not Jeez. the wicked face I know. <laughs> okay. It worries me. You never work yourself up into any kind of sweat. Okay, so let's, you need to let's just play it. Let's, um, we're going so well now, aren't we? What about a bit of Beck? Let's that go a lovely bit of Beck, just yeah. to chill everything out. Just yeah. calm everything yeah. down. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. yeah. All right, relax. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you've got, there you are, yeah. you've so gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beck. Beautiful, that. Good tune. Brilliant. Good tune. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Lost Cause, XFM 104.9. It's going well, isn't it? Oh, I'm loving it. Right, let's do some else then. Adverts. Yeah. Adverts, I'd love to hear some adverts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, please. There it is. Life on Mars, with that great lyric by David Bowie. Indeed. Yeah. Although, it's not quite as good as, uh, what was the one, was it Jeff Lynne? 
the chances of anything coming from Mars are a, a million, million to one. one. And yet they come. Yeah, and still they <laughs> come. And still they come. And I wonder what you get. Would you get that on Lab Brooks? I'd like to A see, million yeah. to one. But it's, it's yeah. a million to one and still they come. Clint. Yeah, and yeah. Still they they yeah, didn't yeah. know the odds. <laughs> I go, what are you doing? It's a million to one. It's what? There's a million to one on you. We should have put a bet on where you didn't. You didn't tell me you were coming. We could have split it 50 50. We could have made it a little bit. I could have gone, wow. I could have probably got them up to a million and a half. Gorg, what were you thinking? Yeah, we're never gonna get good dogs. Oh, Gorg, the chances of Gorgie. that. The chances of that happening were a million What have you come for? They've probably come for that <laughs> Well, why quash. didn't you sneak in? They've come for that quash drink, haven't they, again? You could have snuck oh, down. Oh, what you are you doing? snow and flown back uh, and then made another You know, you know that fella? We come for that drink you call quash. I bet he'd get off with snork. <laughs> wouldn't no, he? He'd need are you thinking fixed. of weird stuff again? <laughs> you're, you're thinking of crazy <laughs> ideas again. What about those, uh, uh, those smash aliens? What, you got something on them, have you? Yeah. The old, you know, uh, they, they went out, right, without an umbrella. <laughs> oh, poured down. It they rained, got... I knew it would. <laughs> yeah. I knew it would. Anyway. Oh, anyway, well, David Bowie. No, no, this is spiralling. Can I just mention Lynn, who's just phoned, because she was queuing up all night outside the Apollo for Bowie tickets, and she got a pair, so oh, she's well, dead well, happy. Can you dedicate that to everyone who's queuing up? So Yeah, yeah. yeah. Best so of luck to them. Jeez. And I wanted to tell you about the time Bowie came into XFM to talk to Zoe Ball. David uh, came in, did he? Was this recently? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not going to mention her name. She works in the office, Charlotte. Uh, when he walked by her desk, which you have to do when you come to the studio, she didn't actually meet him, shake his hands, or, or make eye contact, but she actually cried because he was in her vicinity. Really? And she, wow. she actually burst into tears when he walked by. Isn't Rick, that? I've I made that. women do that. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know. You've got something in common. Well, a little with something with in common with David Bowie. But they, yeah, but they, they, <laughs> I, I, they whimper and weep when you're in. Mm. You know what I mean? It's sort of like. There's a lot more screeching as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of screaming. Tell them about that emo you just well, got. But, guy... Right, I got to tell the. the, uh, the I, was, I nearly said the fans! <laughs> People who happen to be listening to XFM waiting for the yeah. person after us. Who's on next? Natasha's Natasha. Natasha. Like, the football uh, show. Yeah. Right, the football right. Um, uh, Steve was genuinely annoyed. I laughed, right? <laughs> Steve was genuinely annoyed. He doesn't like, he doesn't like rudeness or people insulting him from I, a distance. I, I, I'm not sure I can find it. Oh, what was me. it? Oh, you got to find it. Well, hang on, let me, uh... Oh, uh, hang on. Uh, this is good radio as well, the sound of a, a <laughs> mouse clicking in the distance. Well, I'll just keep talking. I'll just keep talking. Can't, what was, can come up with some was, magic. What was Scooby-Doo all on about? A talking dog is a bit weird, <laughs> isn't it? Oh, what is that? Um, and then, right, what was that? Wacky Races? Uh, I don't know if... <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute, no, wait a minute. So why did they run, the cavemen, if they... Uh, the car? I've got it. I've, I've got, got it. it. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is an email. This is an email that was sent through. Right. Uh, and I... I th this is my feeling. I think if you're gonna email an insult... <laughs> You've got to at least be clear what the insult is. <laughs> you can't- you can't make me do the work. You can't make me try and guess or figure no. out- No! It's like sending someone hate mail and they have to pay postage. Yeah, exactly. You exactly. go, well, if you're gonna- what yeah. you Exactly. Or making, yeah, an obscene phone call, but collect. Yeah, uh, collect the, yeah, yeah the, uh, the postman just asked you 25p before he handed exactly. you a letter yeah, bomb. Yeah. Go on. It says, uh, Merchant. <laughs> merchant! <laughs> it opens with Merchant. <laughs> Who are you call sad, exclamation mark. At least my mother still don't cut my hair. <laughs> Merchant, who are you call sad? At least my mother still don't cut my hair. Is it an anagram? I don't know. I, I feel like it's been translated from <laughs> the French. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a Japanese fellow yeah, who hates exactly, you. Exactly. And he's he's There's got a machine, a, yeah. he's got a Japanese English dictionary. It's just it's just literal. Yeah. <laughs> so um, how does he know your mum cuts your hair then? Have you said you've never said that on there, have you? <laughs> It's not true, Gervais. <laughs> can I that. just say, uh, I think your hair looks really nice. Thank you so much, I've it. known you for about <laughs> no, five don't. years now. Oh, no, it looks it, lovely. I laughed. I laughed at you needing someone to say it. It looks fine. Yeah, it looks good. What do you mean it looks fine? <laughs> <laughs> it does look good. It looks good. He's got a little bit of product on it, hasn't he? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It has. Maybe I have. Maybe I have. <laughs> a little bit of hair gel. What maybe, do you uh, maybe Gavin had his fingers all over it <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, I have my hair cut by Gavin of uh, West Hampstead. Is it he called? Is that is what it's called, Gavin? Or is he a bloke who works in? It's a Gavin who works in. Do the you use shop. that fudge right. stuff? On Sorry, is that, no, no. Seriously. I use a form of clay, a moulding <laughs> clay. Yeah, that's yeah. Mad. Gavin, Gavin it's recommended mad. it. Yeah. Gavin recommended it, and I've been very happy so far. <laughs> Hold on, though. Rick, what do you use? Uh, I don't. Yeah. yeah. Don't. I just thought. Well, that's obvious. <laughs> no, I just sort of like comb it back and whatever away it falls. Really. Yeah. Um, but um, you had more questions about Gavin. 
Yeah, no. I was up seeing Gavin yesterday, um, just having a haircut. There's no, nothing untoward. <laughs> and, um, and I was, and I went, I thought I popped past Habitat. There's a Habitat, and it's quite a trendy kind of, um, uh, designer furniture shop or whatever. Sure. And I popped in there. I thought I'll pick up the, uh, the sort of brochure, the, the catalogue. There was a big stack of the new catalogue. You catalogs. were stunned by the prices you are gonna tell me, aren't you? No, I'll tell you what, I was about walking out with the guy, the guy went, oh, hey, where are you, hey? Where are you going with the hair? It's a great looking haircut, but where are you going with that catalogue? I went, what do you mean? He went, it's two quid. You've got to pay two pounds for a catalogue from Habitat. And I was, and I said, well, I could go down to Argos, I can get as many as I want for free. I can go crazy in Argos, I can get them Littlewoods, the, the mail order people, yeah. they'll send it to my home. Yeah. I gotta pay two, there's lingerie in that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've just got like some furniture and stuff. <laughs> And I'm paying two quid for me. If there were some ladies draped over the kind of filing <laughs> cabinets, I'd be interested. I'd I pay love two the quid. Fact that you, you, no, what did you say though? You didn't say I can go down to Argus and get as many as I like. What I did, did you say? Yeah, I did. I did. I said, I said, well, what are you talking about? This is, I, what, what, and why am I paying that two quid? That is weird charging for a catalogue. But this is a catalogue just, their... just to tell me what I might want to buy. It's sort of their calling card. It's like paying for a poster or a sticker. Exactly. This something. is what, it's just like, it's almost like paying an entrance fee to go into the shop. Yeah. That's it, a good idea. It's a good idea. It's a good, I mean, because it's good to just walk around and browse. So, <laughs> I mean, I'd pay a quid to uh, walk around a really yeah. good shop. Yeah, but I'd tell you this, the, uh, yeah, if Habitat maybe had some kind of, like, sort of centrefold. Why don't you do I'd this? I'd be interested. I'll tell you what, in a great shop like Habitat, you pay a pound, right? If you buy anything, that comes off the thing. If you don't buy anything, you've, you've paid a you've pound to stop wasting their time. It's an incentive to buy. I wouldn't like it. Sure. I wouldn't go in there. I think it's a terrible idea. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, that's that's. that's what should we play? That was a sideways look at the, <laughs> the world of <laughs> high street shops. <laughs> I think uh, you should play the award-winning Ms. Dynamite. Yeah, oh, yeah go on. she's cracking. Yeah. Yeah. Ms. Dynamite, good that, isn't it? It's cracking. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, Mercury award-winning. Absolutely. Well done. Yeah, good luck to her. Good luck to her. I must admit, I went in the streets. But I yeah. she's, she's a very good second choice, and mm. uh, you know, wish you all the luck in the all world. All the luck in so the world. I'm looking at your hair. It's not right? bad, is it? And you've you've you have bigged it up, so you're quite. So I, I assume you didn't go to a bar a barber. You've got this. This, this is a hairdresser. This is right. Gavin of West. Okay, I'm going to ask you now, yeah. right? And I'm not going to take the mickey, even if it's a hundred pounds. I think you're a fool, and I know you wouldn't pay that much. But it's obviously more than the fiver, then, isn't yes. it? How much do you pay, Ricky Gervais? For this haircut, I paid the princely sum, and I was proud of it. Twenty-two notes, mm. but that's all right. But I went up to twenty-four because I was pleased with what I had. <laughs> Little tip for him: two quid tip, two quid tip. I could have just given him one of those Habitat catalogs. <laughs> he'd have been pleased with that. I love just slap that on the desk. Yeah, and he'd have gone. Thanks very much. Thank so you'd have you know. to go. I'm going to be honest, Gavin. <laughs> that is not free. <laughs> exactly. If that had been Argus catalogue, then throw me out of it. It'd be an <laughs> yeah, insult. Exactly. Look at the price. I'm good two quid. Yeah. yeah, that two quid is yours. <laughs> it's yours. You're would taking you, that home. Would you prefer the money? <laughs> what should we do? Yeah. I got, oh, um. We've got, we're going to usually play a, a new one around this time. Um, what new adverts have we got? <laughs> <laughs> Plenty here. Oh, come on, let's come on. Are you in? Any? No. <laughs> Badly drawn boy. I imagine that's starting a British film. Do you yes. know what I mean? They're jumping on a London bus and they're going around London. Well, of course, uh, the film about a boy, he did the soundtrack for. So if you were a little bit more up on films and stuff, you'd have already yeah. known that that <laughs> idea's been done and you wouldn't have embarrassed yourself and there wouldn't be egg on all our faces. Oh, but no. But thanks very much. Sorry Rick. about that, I'm eating. <laughs> 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 I'm very messy, aren't yeah, I? Yeah. What have you got, Steve? What have you got for Rick, me? Rick, I'm glad you've asked. Thanks for asking. Um, this is a Stevie Wonder track. Now, mm. I hope people aren't as offended by Stevie as they were by Pink. I'm sure they won't I be. I mean, for goodness sake, he's one of, uh, 20th century's greatest artists. Yeah. Um, this is from an album, not one of his more famous, Fulfilling This's First Finale. Yeah. And this is a track, um, called You Haven't Done Nothing. But Rick, here's a little quiz for you, a little pop quiz for you. Oh. There is a very famous, um, backing vocal group here. I mean, they were famous in their own right, but here they're doing backing vocals. I'd like you to identify them. And there's a, there's an Office DVD winging its way to you, Ricky. <laughs> If you can spot who it is. Right, Let's okay, it. the pressure's on. <laughs> oh, magnificent. Do you not Brilliant. enjoy that? Excellent. Yeah, Fantastic. Stevie Wonder, you haven't done nothing from, uh, fulfilling this as first finale. It's quite tricky, that, the backing vocals. Well, They're I'll not never particularly prominent, well, are they? Well, it can't, and it could be anywhere. That's why I just go for someone that's a vocal group with I don't know. Uh, is it obvious or is it's it? It's very obvious. What, that it would be that they would back him? Uh, it's not obvious that they would back him, but it's uh, obvious that, uh, who, I mean, they are huge stars, or they were huge stars. And what is, was it, what's those spats, what, mid-70s? Early 70s? We're talking mid-70s. 1974 is the album. There's an office it's DVD not, winging its way Not the Jackson 5, is it? It's the Jackson 5. Is it really? Oh! There they are. Well done. 
Well, there you go. Are, yeah. well I mean, done. that's how big Stevie was that he could ask the Jackson Five just to stroll in. There you go. Some fairly See? nondescript backing vocals. First, Good stuff. first uh, album I ever got, Jackson Five. Was it? Which yeah. one? It was the one with Rockin' Robin on it. Nice. <laughs> did you rock to that? I imagine you I, did. I walked around right to that. How old were you? What, what were we talking? Eighteen. Uh, <laughs> I was about, uh, I suppose, I don't know, 11 or 12, and I had one of those little, um, cassette players, the one you had to press down, play and what's it, and I had a little handle that came out. They're brilliant, yeah. And I had one CD with it. Well, one tape. One tape, yeah. Sure. And, uh, yeah. and you bought it yourself, did you? Or did no, you? no, that was Christmas present. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah. And that was the, the only one you had for, like, I uh, imagine, like a year or something. Just well, that one tape. Yeah. Endlessly played. Until, like, what was yeah. your first, uh, record purchase? It was, uh, a Disco Fever compilation. Well, actually called Disco Fever, and I got it because I, I loved Yes Wait, Sir, I Can Be. What, are you embarrassed about having your mobile on, or what? Oh, Something's oh, vibrating, and I'm sorry. assuming it's a mobile. Oh, <laughs> sorry, it's my boyfriend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I did turn the ringer off. <laughs> oh, <Okay>. sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, what, is a disco fever compilation? Yeah, yeah, featuring Baccarat, Yes Sir, I Can Boogie. Cracking. Yeah. And, um, Space Float On, I think, which is what I want, what I want. Float wanted. On, that Yeah, one. that's one, yeah. That's Who, the floaters, isn't it? The floaters, yeah. yeah. Hi, Always hi, made me laugh. Larry, yeah. my name's, yeah. I don't know. Magic Fly by Space. All right. Do you remember well, that no, one? No, I don't. No. Yeah. no. Okay. I don't know if my first purchase is cool or not, really, because I suppose it, it seems like it was. It was the, uh, greatest hits of The Stranglers. That is so oh, cool. Are The Stranglers quite cool? That's yeah. scary, cos, uh, I, yeah, I finished school by the mm. time that, that came out, I think. Mm. That's scary. The Greatest of The Stranglers, no, I, I was well, never I think a that's Stranglers more to do fan. with the fact that my parents didn't have any records in the house. They had, I think they had the Jeff Love Orchestra plays big war theme tunes. <laughs> <laughs> so they anyway, so they had one big... of those Top of the Pops albums with a woman wearing a neckerchief on the cover. Yeah. And, um, and that was pretty much it. That, they, and the 1812 Overture, you know, played on the fiddle those. or something. I had one of those with Mozart, Mozart's 40th on it. Because right. that was, that was released at the time. The <laughs> was that <laughs> 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 Oh, that wasn't obviously Mozart's 40th birthday. <laughs> no, no. That would have been a wild swing. <laughs> if he'd made it that far, that'd yeah, have been a wild swing. That would have been great. I'd love to hear that on, uh, on record. How old was he when he died? He was quite young, wasn't he? I didn't live long. 18 years or something? He was a genius. No. He was a boy wonder. Yeah, he's a wonder. <laughs> he but a lot of people don't realize. He's like Alan Jones. It was all over by the time he was 11. What a lot of people don't realize about Mozart was that he also, in his spare time, used to solve crimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was why he was so. That was what, musical crimes. He was like, instead of plagiarism oh, we've come full issues, circle, things like that. We, we have we? indeed. We've yeah, brought yeah. that right back. We Actually, yeah, I right hate right. to interrupt you, boys, Go but on, we, we have got to uh, squeeze one more song in before. Well, well, yeah, well uh, what should we do? Bit of. What should we have? What have we got there, Claire? Well, I've, I've, this truly, I've, I've got this, this one I want to play you. I want what, to play you by the Electric Six. It better be good, because if you end a show with it, I mean, we've had lots of faux pas this and really bad This is going bits. to be possibly the biggest song of 2003, you think so? Rick. Go on then. Man yeah. Alive. Yeah. Right, well, yeah, thanks very much indeed, Claire, for Cheers, thank you. Thank you. No, it's, it's a been pleasure. pleasure. Uh, no, really is Carl back next week? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, just Lee doesn't care, does he? Uh, yeah. Can we just quickly say, so you're on Parkinson tonight then, Ricky, yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And the office starts, what, is it Monday? This is easy, this, isn't it? And there's a DVD winging his way. <laughs> yeah. 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 I guess, I do want one. <laughs> See you next week.